do me a favor, lads. I want you to I want you to smash that subscribe button if you <laughs> haven't already. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tell two lads to tell two lads. <laughs> it's the funniest show that nobody's ever heard about. If you find, you know what you find at the end of the rainbow? A sweaty Chinese man with a microphone. Come on down there. <laughs> hey, what the fuck's going on? It's Radio Ridley Radio. I'm your host, Michael Ridley. Today's date is June 18th. It's 528 p.m. CST in the great town of Austin, Texas. Uh, we're back in the studio today with a fucking guest. One of my favorite people in Austin comedy, uh, Nick V. Er. Nick Vandevore, guys. Give it up you for said him. my name right. That's good. Give it up for Nick Vandevore, everybody. Give it up for him. Give it up for Nick Vandevore, everybody. He's here. He's here. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, dude. I like that. That's a solid dopamine you know hit. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I'm a little late on the... Oh, yeah, There's late. a part of my brain that doesn't know it's fake. <laughs> it's registering it as... Yeah. There's a part of my brain that only heard the one guy in that whole applause going, Yeah! <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do hear yeah. Those are good. I love those guys. Those, those are guys usually are, good guys. I like it when there's uh, 60 of those guys at Banana Phone. It really helps. <laughs> you know what You know what gets scary as fuck to me when we do Banana Phone? Mm. Is uh, when it's all like a bunch of aggro bro white dudes and I start a chant and they all start chanting with me and I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. The I cheer see. is like... The cheer is an chance. agreement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck you! Fuck you! You yeah. remember that week we did that? Yeah. Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> fuck! You and then yeah. the booze hit harder too because there's a lot of bass in those booze. Yeah, yeah. What's crazy? What's crazy is doing a racial joke on banana phone and then you don't get. It's not a a laugh. You get a a cheer. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> it happens. You hit like a joke on Muhammad. You all and one guy will be in the back like yeah. <laughs> like, dude, Muhammad, no. Muhammad Yuwal is from Africa. He's he's like beyond black. He's yeah. a, he's a Vanta black guy. Vanta black guy. Yeah, he's a matte black guy. <laughs> he's Vanta he's black. As black yeah. as the curtains in he's here. the blackest yeah. black guy you've ever blacked. But then person out, you meet him and he's white. That's yeah. a crazy thing. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, dude. Hello. He hey. said the N word one time on Banana Phone. And I was like, it genuinely sounds better coming out of my mouth than does yours. <laughs> <laughs> it genuinely rolled off my tongue better. He was like, you said it like a robot. Like yeah. if a robot said the N-word. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. What would that sound like, Nick? <laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> you could Im you can imagine. You can probably put it together. Yeah. Basketball people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, dog? Pass me the rock. I am I am Blackbot 4000. Pass me the rock. Oh. Yeah. Pass me the rock. Yeah. I'm about to dunk upon you bitch asses. Hey. Let me ask you a question. That's the one. <laughs> that's, that's what I get in my neighborhood all the uh, time. Hey, big dog, I'm just going to need about $30 to get back on my feet. <laughs> my baby mama tripping. She kicked me out the house for the weekend. I'm hey, just trying to get a room tonight. What uh, what time are we at on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> what time, 40, what? 45 seconds we made in. 45 seconds. We're already doing a riff. <laughs> we found the riff in 45 seconds. This is incredible. Dude, Black Bot. <laughs> black yeah, bot black bot is crazy yo yeah. what the fuck is good i'm <laughs> me and 40 of my friends are gonna hack into the sneakers app and get all the jordans back doored <laughs> sneakers app <laughs> we've hacked we've hacked the sneakers app and michael ridley can't get jordans for retail it's me black bot <laughs> black bots matter that's crazy dude that's funny, uh, earlier in the car, you were like, I don't know if I should work with certain comedians, like, I don't want to be viewed as, like, a racial... <laughs> we're, like, a minute in and black bots happening already, dude, this is crazy. I think a black robot would be funny as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if they do AI, they have to make, they have to make them That's black. crazy, like, because they have to, they have to program... Yeah, you have to make some of the robots black. It can't just all be, like, Mark Zuckerberg. Not all the robots can just be like, hi, hello. They have to be like... <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's ho oh, yo, what's good? It's me, Mark Blackerberg. Mark it's <laughs> Black Mark Zuckerberg. Marky Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Marky Mark Zuck. Marky Mark Zuckerberg. Young Zuck. It's me, young Zuck. <laughs> I don't know, dude. We're just riffing, dude. We're just having a good time. We're figuring it out. Black yeah, robots. Yeah. Black robot's a hard one. I feel like I'm I'm having a hard time yeah. capitalizing on black robot. Right black now. robot? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did I do, though? <laughs> 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 but what did I do, though? <laughs> <laughs>
Black robot. Yeah, black robot. There's more there. It's a slow I know, there's so much. Though. There's so much there. We'll let the uh, slow, slow down a little bit. I you don't feel have like, to, I feel like you we don't have to go very fast. You can just I, take your time. It's true. Like, I, this isn't banana phone. I'm very used to just like... Being fast. Banana phone's crazy. Yeah, slow it down a little bit. Explain to the viewers what banana phone is, Nick. Uh, banana phone, me and Mike are on it, and it's a it's a comedy open mic. Anyone can sign up. You get one minute to try to make the crowd laugh, and then they ring a bell, and everyone in the room is then allowed to heckle you and yell at you and be very mean. And uh, but there's like six comedians up front with microphones, and me and Mike. Yeah, we're, we're part of the guys. panel. We're front of part the, of the, the panel. panel, bro. Staple, <laughs> staple in Austin. Uh, it's if you're one of the, in Austin, it's one of the best shows in Austin. I think it's the best show in Austin. Yeah, it's one of them. Yeah, vastly. Underrated. I mean, it's not a strict like yeah, if you're talking about comedy. No, then, no, yeah. it's just a fun show. It's so fun. Yeah, we got. We're gonna start charging money, dude. Yeah, we need to. It's hard to monetize though, because the shit that gets said there is beyond mm. monetization most of the time. Yeah, it's fine. I guess that's why we don't make any money here at R three. Oh, yeah. There's no filter, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You tell me no one wants to sponsor Blackbot. Come on, man. Come we on. We need it. <laughs> Dude wipes. What's up? <laughs> Dude wipes. What's a what's a <laughs> what's a robot gotta do to get some monetization up in this hoe for real, for real? <laughs> for real. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like doing banana phone now. No, I'm saying we gotta start charging at the door. Last week there was There's like thirty people. There was like 30 people at the open mic, and then 10 o'clock rolls around, and there's 100 people in Creek on a Sunday night at yeah. 10. That's crazy. There's regulars now. Yeah. There's regular fans. This girl uh, kissed me on the cheek after the show. And then two weeks ago, some lady took a fucking selfie with me at the panel. Yeah. Some lady, I don't know if you saw that. She's like, I, you weren't there yet. But it, the show had just started. She taps on my shoulder, and she's like, I, I guess she recognized me. Yeah. And Jack and fucking, <laughs> Jack and uh, I think Candace or Nick or somebody. Hmm. You know, Nick's usually to the left of me. Nick Cox is to the left of me. I think Jack was to the right. They're like, all right. They got like, weird about it? They they were, like, impressed, and I fucking was like, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's no problem. I went to H-E-B two weeks ago. This girl was like. <laughs> I was like, wait, w what's wrong? She was like. <laughs> I was like, wait. Like, oh, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah. And then I fucking. Hey, what's up? It turns on. I'm on now. I'm like, oh shit. That's a crazy way to get recognized. I'm out. I'm yeah. I got just stimming. <laughs> stimming. <laughs> <laughs> just do you know me from? <laughs> That's I like Mumford's joke. Yeah. About that. Yeah, his fucking invisible dicks. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, nah. I, um, I got I got recognized at an Olive Garden one time. Hell yeah, dude. By the gayest waiter of all time. Oh my god, what so were you always, recognized for doing? Do you know? Uh, not gay shit. Just stand up. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, I think he saw me, he saw one of my mothership open mics. Oh, okay. That would be crazy if he calls you out by your grinder username. <laughs> <laughs> what would my grinder username be? I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, what would your, oh, I'm I trying I feel to... like I would have a specific yeah. one. Uh, yeah. uh t Twinkler Elf. I don't know. Twinkler Elf. <laughs> Twinkler Elf 42069. Or, Twinkler Elf. Or, uh, what is it? Uh, fucking... <laughs> Backdoor prospector forty seven dude. There's I heard I heard there, there was some I heard there was some bussy out California way. I heard there was <laughs> I heard there was boy pussy out west. There's I'm coming heading. these hills. There's yeah. coming these hills. There's coming these hills. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny, yeah, dude. Old. There's just a bunch of dudes in the river like sifting cum <laughs> yeah. the river like yeah. see that that you see that? You see that? <laughs> Look at how he's dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody had a lot of Monster Energy drink this week. Look at that. Uh, damn, you are this. drinking the White Monster, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I shout out a big, big shout out to Ridley for pulling out the White Monster big on the podcast, sips, dude. Big sips only here. This one's big for the sips. Spotify listeners, dude. I got the. I got. This is the. The best combo. Right yeah, you have here. the Wait, fucking. Give us the throat, Ridley. You got the, the uh, throat. uh, pause, dude. He Sorry. doesn't know what that is. Oh, dude. crucial, dude. That <laughs> Yo, one's for that the. Rules. That one's for the Spotify that listeners, rules. dude. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you got the uh, diarrhea thirty minutes into the pod. <laughs> yeah, special I got right the there, I got the y'all got a bathroom special. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got a y'all you you got the yo quit playing. I'm being serious for real. Where's the bathroom? Yeah, <laughs> special. Yeah. yeah, this this speeds speeds my brain up. 
uh, bleh, speeds my brain up enough to where I can think. This slows me down. Yeah, we'll probably have to, we'll probably have to rip it. an hour thirty because you're fucking. I thought you would have been bro, I got primed. an ass made of steel, bro. I'm I thought good. you were going to be primed. You're like, oh, I, j- I woke up at 3 o'clock. I had to drive to fucking, you live in ground zero. <laughs> I said that you lived in fucking, what did I say? Uh, uh, Kino der Toten? Yeah, 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 knocked there on Toten or yeah. whatever. I do live in a, zom- a Nazi zombies level. It's pretty normal. <laughs> yeah, he literally. It is really he bad. He lives in a fucking Nazi zombies cod level, dude. It's yeah. fucking crazy. He's yeah. Like, Fuck it. What'd you say? You had to. Oh yeah, I have to make a crawler before I go to bed so I can sleep. <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> go to Nick's go to uh, you go to it's Nick, so bad. <laughs> you go to Nick's apartment. He's got a crawler and a dog kennel. <laughs> he's yeah. just fucking like he's about to. <laughs> I said you're about to leave the crib or whatever. You're like one second, dude, you're cranking up a fucking monkey before yeah. you leave. Yeah, the crib. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fucking whatever those things. The are little called. symbol, mon- the monkey with the symbols, dude. Yeah, the little. Bomb. That's what my that's what Ridley said. He's like, dude, I had to pop a juggernaut just to fucking drive through this fucking <laughs> shit hole neighborhood. Yeah, dude. I had to k- k- love that juggernaut. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had yeah, to yeah. fucking crack a fucking juggernaut yeah. just to get through your fucking apartment complex. It's gnarly, bro. I was like, brother, I'll pick you up at the Jack in the Box, dude. I'm not stepping bro, foot know, in that apartment complex. I'm gonna be honest, the Jack in the Box parking lot's worse. It is worse. I saw a hooker worse. get po- picked up. I yeah, s- I, saw, I heard you go. I just saw, man, never mind. You hung up. <laughs> That's how you saw? Yeah, I saw a hooker get picked up, and this dude tried to wipe my windows down. With oh, him. Yeah. I was only there for two minutes. Hey, shout out, uh, quick shout out. This is in relation to the neighborhood. Shout out Kill Tony for giving those uh, jail blasters away. Yeah. Because when a prostitute falls asleep on your front porch. Oh, nice. It's a good way to wake her up without... Oh, you use Tanner Amiglio's gel blaster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was going to, I was going to, this, this, this... Definitely a prostitute, which is funny. I mean, she had a just no clothes on and also a Pokemon backpack, which made me Sick. laugh. Yeah, <laughs> which made me laugh. <laughs> That's crazy. Like she just started a new game in Rust. Yeah. She's just butt ass oh, yeah. naked with the <laughs> yeah. Pokemon yeah. backpack. It's weird to see a girl's ass out and just Pikachu on her back as well. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's very very weird to be like, you know, she went through some shit. She's yeah. asleep on the sidewalk. Yeah. Pikachu is just there though. Yeah. I use my I use my gel blaster to get uh, blue jays out of the tree. It's like oh, yeah? fucking seventeen blue, blue jays. J- They're loud, dude, they and they, they fight. Look, they look nice though. Yeah, yeah, they look nice, but they don't sa- they don't sound good. Excuse me. Sorry, I that's have like the, a combination uh, of Zenups and White Monster. Yeah, you're shitting on my combination, bro. What are you on? I'm on the fucking I'm on the fucking cart heart special, a, dude. I got <laughs> six millimeter, a six milligram Zen and a White Monster. I'm about to go drive a forklift into my boss's <laughs> office. <laughs> I've got, the, do, I've got the I've got the I ain't I I don't get paid enough for this yeah. shit special. Dude. You look like you would do you would do kill those or with a forklift. Oh yeah yeah. And I it'd got, be like a welded up forklift and they would kind of just tip it over. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would just be in there doing doing <laughs> yeah. fucking donuts sideways yeah. on the ground. No, I've got the uh, I've got the uh, unions are for pussies special right now. I got a six milligram zin and uh, oh, yeah. two white monsters. Count it one. Yeah, two white monsters. You got dude, the soft hand. Listening. Are you drinking both of those? Yeah, I'm gonna. Whoa, did I crack both already? Oh no, oh, I already crushed one. one. Okay, I already crushed one. Well, I'm trying to get ramped up. I'm usually more ramped up. I'm out of Alpha Brain right now. My Dang. wife, did, my wife didn't buy my fucking Alpha Brain. <laughs> God damn it, she didn't get my freaking my Alpha. My wife didn't buy my Alpha Brain. I know, dude. She does a lot, dude. You have Alpha Brain on you. I got you, uh, bro. That's cocaine. Yeah, let me get a fucking Alpha Brain, dude. You guys alpha brain? Yeah, I do. Does it work? Oh, dude, it's incredible. You ever see me crushing super hard? Alpha Alpha Breezy. Shout out Matias, guys. Say hi to Matias, everybody's first on-screen appearance. Matias is never... Matias, did what I tell you yesterday stick? Do you think pussy's gay now? Mm, No. I fucking knew it, dude. Matias is Matias is bound to clap cheeks, dude. He's a young, single guy. He has a cat. He'll be fine. Show us your face, T. Dip down a little bit. Dip down. Show, Show the beautiful people your beautiful face. Rare Matias sighting, guys. Comment in the chat, Matias is a... Uh, guys, comment below that if you guys think Matias is a beautiful man. Actually, put yeah. Ma- put Matias is a beautiful man in the comments for all that. Nice, dude. Nothing like some Rio water. What is that? Pineapple yeah, flavored? That's crazy. Dude, this looks like fucking brackish water I'm about to drink, dude. Yeah. This is a fucking bottle of Flint right here, dude. What in tarnation? This is the shit they tried to get Obama to drink on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that shit. I remember that. Bro, and he did this, he did this move. He just he was like, see, it's fine. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. 
Yeah. Uh, don't see a problem with the water here. I, uh, <laughs> here, wait. Do it right now. Do uh, it live. Uh, take drink, uh, your flint water. Uh, drink your sure, flint. I, drink uh, your flint water. Yeah, of course. Uh, water and flint. <laughs> flint. Is, I mean, this is uh, normal water to me. I believe. Uh, see, that's that's good water right there. <laughs> that's exactly what he did. He <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, hit the yeah. fucking. See that? That's perfect. <laughs> didn't even touch <laughs> his lip. <laughs> didn't even touch his lip. Pantomiming the water in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, that pineapple's better than they have a they have a blackberry lemonade one, and that one tastes like shit. On it, you guys got to figure out the flavors, or at least put some more uh, put some yellow coloring in this shit so it doesn't look so goddamn pissy. Yeah, yeah, it's. Oh, dude, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah like this bottle should have a date on it. <laughs> like, some kombucha. Bro. Yeah, dude. I remember that was a good piss. Yeah, that was a. That was three liters of Mountain Dew. <laughs> this is how much water it produced. <laughs> this is how much three liters. I see. I see that shit on the job site sometimes. What a fucking pissy bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh. it'll be we're, we're on like floor twenty of an apartment building that yeah. we're putting together. Yeah. And I'm like, what's the fat fucking smell? And it's just a bottle of piss with no top on it. Sick. Sitting on the floor. When I was a kid, I got a. When I was a kid, I was living on base in Japan. Yeah. And uh, they they put me in the recycling plant to do. Uh, community service i got in trouble and the gatorade bottles i guess mil these military dudes are like like they're all sleeping in bunks and shit mm. dude they're jizzing in the gatorade bottles Ugh. and we have to separate the lids from the bottles Ugh. yeah to, what's to, the most cummed in gatorade flavor i don't know <laughs> you don't remember Fucking, that part no no i do arctic blue <laughs> <laughs> arctic blue shout dude. out arctic blue arctic dude. blue is the god tier Cum, cum bottle. Cum bottle, yeah. Cumming I, in a bottle is crazy. Cool. I pissed in a bottle. Everyone's done that. Who's busted in a bottle before? Busting in a bottle is crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm fucking, um... When, isn't that... Isn't that the worst place? I'm a clear plastic container? Yeah, well, it's not on your clothes. It's not on your bunk. Yeah. You can't have, like, 40 dudes in a pod just jerking off on their sheets. That, that room would smell crazy. Bro, jerking off is crazy. Jerking off is crazy. Jerking dude. off is gnarly. I feel bad. I've been doing it too much. I've been out of the game, dude. That's good. How long? I've been out of the trench since like December. Nice. Straight Whoa. up. Whoa. So Straight just up. so just fucking a uh, wet dream once in a while. Yeah, dude. Ugh. Crazy wet dream. Rubber draws. I don't. I don't. Do, you gotta buy the rubber draws. <laughs> out of wet dream, dude. The you other. You gotta night. get the silicone non-slip draws. <laughs> You gotta I get sleep. you gotta get the panhandling draws. I put dude. I put my soft dick into a pocket pussy before I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> if I get hard at night, I yeah, bust Nick, in that Nick, bitch. Nick shoves his dick in a diva cup and goes to bed. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Diva cup. Just go to bed with a condom on over my over my balls so it stays on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a uh, yeah, dude, that's called a uh, that's called wetsuit mode. <laughs> it's just yeah. fucking wet. You yeah, put your dude. dick in a wetsuit. <laughs> But it has arms and legs. Like, yeah. it's a small wetsuit. Yeah, that's funny as hell. Yeah. Yeah, your dick looks like James Bond sneaking into an underground tunnel via water. Yeah, yeah. The inside of my the inside of my dick looks like the fucking the gun barrel on 007. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's funny. Yeah. Staying, uh, yeah. retainment. Is it called retaining? You're retaining your nut? I guess, yeah. That's a gay way to put it. I don't like when people say that. Yeah, why, why don't you, uh... Why don't you just donate sperm? That way you can have, like, a guilt-free jork. Because you're getting paid to jork. Yeah, it's true. Guilt and you're emptying jork. your tanks. Medical so you, jork. Medical jork. So you yeah. do it once a month. So that way you, you're definitely filling up the cup. I S won't do it because... State-sponsored jork. Yeah, state-sponsored jork, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then this fucking flint piss that I'm... <laughs> this crucial flint. We're, bo we're both doing way too much right you now. You got any stories? Substances. Tell me a story, man. <sighs> what do you want to know, dude? I don't know. What do you want to hear, bro? Oh, yeah. Tell, I, wish tell I, was, me, tell I do me wish I was more prepared for this. I kind of just woke up. You're fine. Talk, talk to me about when we left Frazier's when I offered to give you a ride home from Heather Keith's uh, birthday. I, I did. I did walk. There's a... Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same way, but when I get drunk, I love walking places when I'm drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Because I feel I'm like, I'm invincible now that I'm drunk. Mm -hmm. No one can hurt me. Fucking try me, bro. Yeah, I literally, I, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I live in. Yeah, Nick walks home from, uh, Nick walks home drunk from the bar and he can feel the uh, Dragon Ball Z electricity coming off of his yeah, body. Yeah, 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 dude. Just little, just little <laughs> yeah, flickers little of static. Yeah. He hasn't gone Super Saiyan yet, but he's like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
You just yeah. have that. You got that aura. Dushed. Dushed. Like <laughs> the, yeah, the next d- to my feet. Small pebbles start to yeah, raise yeah, off yeah, the yeah, ground yeah, yeah, as yeah. you step out the yeah, bar. Yeah. You Me like, after two beers. Yeah, like, yeah. Fucking Nick is drunk as shit. He walks out of the bar. He stares at a car and goes like this, and it crushes. Mm-hmm. He's like crushing cars with his brain. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, yeah. None of this is actually happening, though. He's just fucking... Shooting fucking light poles down with laser eyes. Like, did you see Nick? He's like pretending to be a superhero. Yeah, yeah. That's how it feels. I, dude, I genuinely alcohol is a great drug if you use it correctly. Mm -hmm. If you use it right, like you're you're sober. Shown off. You're sober, right? You don't touch it. No, I don't drink alcohol. You were at Fraser's drinking water. Yeah. Also, garboon on mushrooms at Fraser's is crazy. And they were playing doom metal. They were playing like doom metal on was, mushrooms. Just we were fucking, riffing on doom metal. Dude. I know Fuck. the song. You can play it. I could pull it doom. up for you. Yeah, I know the song too. It goes doom, 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 and it's that for eight minutes on yeah. mushrooms. It just, sounded Mongolian a little bit. Yeah, it started. Yeah, you heard it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Probably it's, the worst music ever. Uh, yeah, I'd rather listen to Mongolian throat singing than that shit. But you were on mushrooms. Yeah. So that doesn't resonate. Me, when I'm drunk, I'm like, I would rip a guy's head off to this. Yeah, and that was my problem. I was in the bathroom listening to the music, and I was like, dude, I should, should just destroy this bathroom right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know how many you times? Could, every time it? I went in the bathroom, I could hear the music, and I'm just alone going crazy in there on mushrooms. I'm like, dude, I could tear this fucking bathroom up right now, but we come yeah. here too often. Yeah, oh. yeah. A part of me just wanted to, like, kick a hole in the wall, dude. I just... yeah. Yeah. I was looking. That's what. That's that's. I was looking at other dudes in there. I'm like, I could fucking kill you. I have, I have no oh, idea. Yeah, exactly. I had no I idea know. who they were. They needed like, to change the vibe immediately because it was turning. Have you seen the movie The Green Room? No. You should watch. You love I, that movie. Movies are. I have a bad stat. It's a bad stat for me. You gotta. Movies. Yeah. You gotta watch. Watch Green Room because that's okay. what that fucking shit felt like. Green Room's a movie about this punk band in the Pacific Northwest. They drive super far. They go to this bar to do a show and they play their fucking hearts out. Yeah. And then. Um, they find out that the place is owned by neo-Nazi punks. Oh, nice. And it's Patrick Stewart is like the head neo-Nazi. And Patrick it's Stewart? Patrick Stewart. That's funny. From yeah. Star Trek. <laughs> he's the Fuck, head Yeah, neo-Nazi? he's the head neo-Nazi. Fucking Professor X is the... Can you say Can you say wooden doors in his voice? Wooden doors. <laughs> Commander Riker, eat my ass. Eat my ass. I watched all of Star Trek Next Generation during, during the pandemic, as well as all of uh, Sopranos. Yeah. But what happened uh, as you were getting to your house? Oh, yeah, these, uh, uh, a couple of youths, a couple of urban youths tried to pull a little prank on me, dude. Yeah, what happened? I was walking home, and out of the corner of my eye, this a, is Sunday I see a night, car. Sunday night at 2 a.m., mind 2 you. 2 a.m., which, by the way, it, this event has restored my faith a little bit. In, in the ch- in the in the next generation? Yeah, because I do live <laughs> Speaking in... Speaking of the next generation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I live in Kino, and so yeah. for this to happen in, in, a, in a COD Zombies level is nice, too, but... Out of the corner of my eye, I see a, I see a car stop next to me, and I hear, hey, man, uh, I'll give you $1,000 right now. And I look, and it's a kid in a shiesty. And mm. immediately, I was like, I shouldn't have walked home. It's four mm-hmm. dudes in that, in that car. Mm-hmm. Ski mask. Mm-hmm. I'm alone in a fucking... In a, in a BMW polo shirt. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is it. <laughs> I'm like, this is how I die, you know? And he goes, I'll give you a thousand dollars. And immediately I'm I'm I was just like, nah, nah, nah I just didn't want to I'm Be like, you guys are it. about to jump me, bro. Like I'm mm. not I'm not doing anything. And then he pulled out a fire extinguisher and just tried to spray me with the fire extinguisher. <laughs> 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 on, and 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 they drove off and they missed me by like probably the length of this studio. <laughs> it just kind of hit the ground and they drove off really slow and it was this big cloud of oh, shit. Nice. But it's I so- yeah, 30 seconds. I was like, oh, I'm going to die. And yeah. then I'm like, oh, it's just kids fucking around. Pranking. Pranking. Pranking at 2 a.m. on a Sunday is crazy. No one does that anymore. I was mm-hmm. telling Ridley, I was like, yo, I just got pranked. <laughs> yeah, I got a text message from you. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm at home. Yeah, it was like 3 in the morning. Yeah. I think I was in the gym. I'm working out, and you text me, dude, I just got pranked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll yeah. be in the gym at like... Well, because you said, did you make it home safe? And I said, yeah, they pulled a prank on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You it's, it's made said me happy. You won't. You won't. When they're like, "I'll give you a thousand dollars," you should have said, "You won't." No. <laughs> no, you don't want to. 
Nah. Taylor Taylor has the survival skills of a Portlandian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no black people where Taylor's from. Yeah. So he's like, oh, we should we should harass these he young. He does look like that. We should harass these young blacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, let's yeah. do that. Let's yeah. fuck. Let's you know poke. what you do when you see four black teenagers in an Impala? You fucking fuck run. Fuck with them, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's egg them on, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, I literally went like this. I was like, I don't know. I don't want to. You did the white guy who doesn't want no problems thing. Yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, mm, 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 Dude, yeah. And I, I felt I felt some fuckery in the air. And I was like, I can take you home right now. And you were like, nah. I got it. You got to trust my Asian wisdom, young Nick. <laughs> yeah, no. You gotta I know. Tr- you're my ward. I'm claiming you as my young ward. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I it forget, got, you know, I forget you're older than me Because when I was, like, dude, very often I forget Dude, that. when I was your age, a guy my age told me that one day, he was, he would, he put, uh, he would give me all this knowledge and shit and teach yeah. me a lot, he taught me a lot of shit, right? And he goes, well, I'm teaching you this because one day there's going to be somebody your age and you're going to pass that, like, dude in his 30s to dude in his 20s torch and that's like a it's like a generational thing as yeah. men like you and then when you're my age there's going to be another kid that reminds you of you at that age oh, yeah. and it's just going to be like this unspoken brotherhood and i'm passing that torch to you as you pick your beard on my show with <laughs> what, a, dude, I can't with pick a my pink <laughs> with, a, with a pink pick <laughs> One this day. is why I don't get jumped in the hood, bro. Yeah, yeah, because you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, listen, bro, I don't want any problems. You know, like, respect. Yeah, it's like, you just start wearing, uh, you just start wearing fucking, you got a koofy on and shit, dude. <laughs> my brothers, I do not. <laughs> come, come on, my brothers. Come you, on, my brothers. Man, wh- what you mean, dog? thousand dollars of what? A thousand dollars. The white man's money. (laughs) (laughs) And I look like this. (laughs) A thousand dollars of oppression, you mean, brother? (laughs) My brother, that is A thousand dollars? How about a thousand years? (laughs) (laughs) Must be in hell down. It is... It is money is nothing but a mere concept, and in its physical form, it's nothing more than a piece of paper, yo. What's on the... What is on the money? Do you want to be wealthy or do you want to be rich? (laughs) Do you want to be? Do you want to? Do you want to be rich among men, or would you like to be wealthy with the Lord? Among kings. Oh yeah, wealthy man. Among kings. Among kings. I've been. Uh, I've been really into. Uh, been. I've been really into Christian. Uh, the Christian. Uh, the Crusades. Oh yeah. I've been like hardcore King on Baldwin. some. King Baldwin. You watching King Baldwin on Instagram? No, no, no. I found this one movie. Uh, damn it. It's not Kingdom of Heaven. That's like the Kingdom one of Heaven. That's it. I think it is Kingdom of Heaven. That's yeah. Bald with the mask, bro. With the, the dude with mask. the mask, yeah. yeah. Kingdom of Heaven. Fucking, what's his name? Edward Norton's character in Kingdom of Heaven. Yeah. That shit fucking, that shit, bro, all of my all of my reels are just edgelord Christian weightlifting shit now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah. what the hell happened to me, but I got married and then I moved to a major city and I was like, this place needs order. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even like Austin made me a Christian because of how well, dude this place yeah, is fucking. Yeah, because you see you see evil here. This and place you're like, is oh, Babylon. Fuck. Yeah, it's this place Sodom, is Babylon, bro. dude. It's yeah, this is Sodom and Gomorrah, dude. This place when you walk down Sixth Street, you go like, you none it. of you people are going to heaven. <laughs> I can confidently say none yeah. of you guys are going to heaven here. I added it to pod prep. Taylor, open this shit. This is what my you is guys want. Fear the lamb. I bet it's fear the lamb. You guys want to peek into what my Instagram algorithm is? It's all this shit now. Cause I fucking I don't know, bro. I have a whole folder of shit that I identify with. This? Yes. Yeah, that's just my saved folder. That's yeah. What this I is do. what. Yeah. This is what my saved folder. We have like the same saved folder. I feel like. Yeah. Play that. You put audio on it and start it over. I felt in that moment I would live to be a hundred. It's always this music yeah, I know, too. I shall yeah. See 30. Yeah. Yeah. This is this, this is, is it. This is me before I go to the when corner 16, store across my house. <laughs> 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 Literally to just go get a bottle of water. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> full full armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Full. full. <laughs> fucking yeah. medieval armor with the mess. I'm ready to face great evil. Here, started time. started over from the beginning. I didn't feel like the the beginning is like the first sentence he says. It just hits so hard. Yeah. We didn't get the full effect. You know who else is on this? Uh, I listened to Matt and Shane, one of the recent ones. Same shit. Their their algorithm is this. 
Are you serious? Yeah, we're all in on this, bro. Like, I don't know. When I was 16, I won a great victory. I felt in that moment I would live to be 100. Now I know I shall not see 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, now listen. Now, picture 16, that I song. Picture that song and me in my apartment complex's gym alone at three in the morning, just fucking. Ugh, <laughs> nobody loves you. <laughs> Everyone hates you. You have you're a not wife. Funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a wife and you're booked on comedy shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I'm like, you're not funny. You're not getting booked. Nobody likes you. Yeah. Nobody, yeah. 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 I used, dude. It's hard. It is harder to work out when you're like when your life's going good. Nah, you gotta hate yourself. I've A learned little, it. You got it. Yeah. It's taken me ten years to figure out how to convert self hatred into self betterment. It's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because before I would just find myself at the bottom. I'd be in the bottle. Yeah. Dude, I, I dude. That's why you can't touch it, right? You'll be. No, no. I here's the thing. I'm nerfing myself. Mm. Lemare says it. I was like, me and Lemare, like, we go to jujitsu. We were talking about getting in, in shape and shit. And mm -hmm. Lemare's like, no, I'm nerfing myself. And I'm like, you know what? Me too. Because if I drink, my riffing, everything, my creativity, everything goes through. Mm. So it's like, kind of like um, my alcoholism. I picture it like as a knife, and then and it's the strongest. It's the strongest weapon in my inventory. Yeah. But the more I use it, the more it hurts me. Like it's oh, yeah. yeah. It's like the yeah, handle of that, that knife. Is another knife. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's, it's the, the longer, sharpest knife. But yeah. You take damage. Yeah, I take it. damage every time. Like minus I'll do, ten XP. I'll do or yeah, minus ten HP. Yeah, I'll I'll do fifty damage, but I take ten of my own. So yeah. like, how many? times It's not sustainable. Yeah. It's just, it's not a sustainable way to kill and destroy on stage. No. So I try not to go up drunk. Dude, I used to. I'll was, start. You know what I? It was will my do? first eight years of comedy. I would drink. I would get shit house drunk and go up and just like fucking do good. Pull, I would pull <laughs> bits from midair. I would just go on stage and destroy. And then yeah. none of it's recorded. None of it's written down. That was that by, performance. By, by the way, yeah, that, that if you want to talk about some shit that gets me mad is that I, I, I spent all this money on a van. I was literally homeless in Austin for two years. Yeah. And you can say, you can call it van life if you want, but yeah. it's you're fucking living in a car. Yeah. And the yeah, fact that I did a, just set a little bit of money aside to get a camera. And record yeah. some of these sets I had. I like. I won't sleep at night. Sometimes I'll just be rolling around in my bed. Mm -hmm. you fucking idiot. Like mm -hmm. three thousand dollars on a van. Two years in it. And could, you could have had like, yo, what's up? You could have had an Instagram vlog. Yeah. Something. Yeah, but that's, then I would get fucked with too. They'd be like, hey, that's that dude in that. That's that dude. So oh I, yeah, That's why yeah, I didn't yeah. do any. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that guy who's. Uh, I got fucked with enough. His main living situation is his car. Let's vandalize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They take the, they take the, uh, they take the, they, someone's. <laughs> they, they take the straighters out of your fucking valve stems in your car. A lot of people. That, here's the thing: if you want to fuck with don't somebody, teach them, don't teach I'm them. Teach this. Them this. I'm gonna teach them this. I'm gonna teach them this because some people deserve this shit. They're gonna, to find, to they're gonna find your car. That's yeah, what whatever. Do. I know how to fix it, dumbass. <laughs> All right, dude. Go get a straighter removal tool. And when you when you take somebody's valve stem cap off, there's a little fucking thing in there. You put this tool in, you turn it to the left, it takes the whole thing out. So even when they go to put air in their tire, it won't stay in. Oh, okay. <laughs> you go to air up your tire, you take it off, it comes funny, right out. Actually. Yeah, it's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. When you said valve, I thought you meant like engine valves. I'm no, like, no, 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 no. Your tire valve stem. You take yeah. the whole Schrader valve out of the out of the uh, out of the valve stem, and it doesn't let air in. Yeah. So like when we would go do tires, when we would do tires at the shop, you fucking take the Schrader. You worked out for, at a tire shop. Yeah, I worked at a tire shop. Yeah. That was my first job. I dude. worked at a mechanical. Sh I was doing a. I was working at dealerships for most of my life. Yeah. Dealers, automotive industry, most of my life. Yeah, that's why, dude. That's why when Shane's show came out, yeah, and I saw it was a tire shop. I was like, I was fucking. Uh, yeah. I was my first job for like a year or two. Yeah, I did it fucking four or five years. I was in shops, 2016 to 2020. Yeah. Got, and then got back my, into a shop again during the pandemic. I was working at I was working at a Chevy during the pandemic. That was crazy. Ugh. They used to make us fucking bag everything up in the car, okay. and then uh yeah people. Well, it's gross, dude. It was like peak pandemic. I'm in a car and it's like, what's the number one thing in a car that gets sneezed on? Uh, fucking steering wheel. Yeah, and I'm touching that fucking thing, dude. And it's fucking haggard. Some days we'd run out of bags. We'd run out of steering wheel bags. We'd run out of masks and shit. It was, dude. It was wacky. None of it was real. None of it was real? None of it was real. It felt weird as fuck. All of it felt stupid. Yeah.
Yeah, COVID was weird. I worked at a Gap during COVID. That was the worst job I've ever <laughs> I know. I know. Every time I say it, people laugh. It's yeah. like, I worked, yeah, I, had a, I worked at a fucking Gap. Yeah, you worked at Kids Gap because you wanted kid. the dis- that discount. That's where I got this shit right here. <laughs> you worked at Baby Gap? Nick said That's baby. where you got your good evening news shit. Bro, I'm telling you, dude, dude, the universe had to, God had to nerf me, bro. Yeah. If I was 6'5". Yeah. It'd be over. You'd be too powerful. I'd be crushing I'd be crushing humans. Yeah. yeah. You'd be playing you'd be playing basketball. I'd be playing rugby or something. Your nickname would be you'd be on a basketball team and they'd call you white chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> they call they you call, white chocolate. They call me that now, dude. You'd have a fade. <laughs> you'd have a fade and, you'd have a fade and a black girlfriend. I almost dude, I might get a black girlfriend. They dude. like gingers, but I might do the Bill Burr thing. Black black girlfriend is a uh, black girlfriend's pretty good. You gotta find a good good one. Yeah. Yeah, because if you find a black girlfriend, that becomes a if you the best black girlfriend becomes black wife. As I pick my beard and then press it back in, like <laughs> you're yeah, fucking, my my my, <laughs> my shit itching right now, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I had a dude come up to me at the gym, and yeah. this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. He, he walks up to me, he says. Hey, man, no offense. That's how he started it. Mm-hmm. He says, hey, man, no offense, but you've got, like, a black guy's beard. You do. But, but right. But why'd The you line's say, right here are crucial. You why'd, you crucial. Say, why'd you say no offense, though? No offense. Yeah, why'd I think you start dude, that with no <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Black dude beard's OP. Yeah, it's OP. It's sick. Yeah, black dude, black dude <laughs> beard. It's so rare. The Rick Ross beard is crazy. Oh. 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 You see him Get talking to— Get my line up. Getting my line up on my beard, uh huh. You hear? You see him talking to Mike Tyson? No. He was talking to Mike Tyson, and he pulled up. Mike pulled up a picture of him when he was young. He, he's like, "How old were you here?" He's like, 20. And he's like, "Wow!" And he goes, "The dude who did your hair didn't fade it good at all." <laughs> that was the well. Only Mike thing Tyson to, said that to Rick Ross. To Rick Ross said it to Mike Tyson. That's crazy. Talking but, shit to Mike. <laughs> to being like, "Yeah, your hair was fucked up when you were um, world champion." I think I saw that. Yeah. I think I saw that video. Yeah. Yeah. Here, uh, Can we pull go, it up? go to the Ridley Pod review. Uh, go to the Ridley Pod uh, prep. All right, click that Jack and Daxter video. Click that top right one. Oh, right. that's that's you sent me that. I sent yeah, I sent Nick this. You're like this was me in my twenties, bro. Yeah, this is my early twenties. Jack, this is your last chance. We're suspending your license and putting you on parole. I was young, dumb, <laughs> and drinking my life away. I'm sorry, Jack. My girlfriend doesn't want you to stay here. I was at my lowest. Yeah, man, I get it. For a long time, I was unemployed, and I had to walk everywhere, visit the food bank, and download all my music at the library. After the, after a half a year, I got a warehouse job. Eventually, I could afford to stay in someone's garage, a simple roof, and I was independent. I was 22 and back on my feet. How could how much better could life be? Dude, that was me. This is my early 20s, dude. Yeah. This page, the gamer comics, is is unreal. Yeah. It's unreal. It's all paint comics, but they're super fucking deep. Yeah, and that's MS Paint, right? Yeah, that was all Microsoft Paint. MS Paint makes me emotional, bro. I don't know what it is. MS Paint does. Seeing anything drawn. I don't know if it's because I was a kid and I used to draw stuff with it, but. It's something nostalgic about it. I was in my bathroom when you sent this to me, and I got sad. <laughs> yeah, I was, dude. like, getting ready for bed. I was brushing my teeth or something, and I was like, damn, dude, like. Ridley really went through it. Sad in my bathroom. And- <laughs> Dude, was late. I, was like, I sent you that yeah. at like two in it the was morning. After I got, I said, bro, I said it was Nick after this- I got pranked. It was post prank. <laughs> I came home. I was like, "That's hilarious." Those guys sprayed a fire extinguisher at me, and then Michael's like, "Did you know I was homeless for?" <laughs> like, well, it's like I identify with you, dude, because it's like, yeah. bro, you're you're living, you're living what I went through in 2014. Yeah. 2014, I was doing exactly what yeah. you're doing. So it's like, dude, just, and you're doing all the right things, dude. You were what? You were sleeping Trying. outside. I was now sleeping you got the job. Van. Yeah. Sleeping in my van. Mm-hmm. And I got into a crib with a friend. Yep. Yeah, slowly. That's how it starts. Slowly I was, turning into a human being. I've been to your house. Bro. I've been the guy in the living room, bro. There's no shame in it. Yeah. Be the guy in the living room for a few years. You'll have your own, you'll be in the master bedroom here sooner or later, brother. Yeah. Y'all figure it out. Yeah, it's all good. And then eventually. Just got a car. There you go, yeah. Shout out. 95, you're, never mind, not going to say it. Someone yeah. will find it and fuck with me. But, no, you're fine, dude. Nobody's yeah. going to fuck with you. Yeah. Yeah, 2015 was, uh, shit, 2015, summer of 2015, I got my Miata. Bro, you missed that fucking car. It was like my best friend. 
Yeah. They got me to Mike's. When you spend so much time in a car. Why'd you get rid of it? It was so responsible. It was responsible for the way you came up as a comic. There is, there is like a deep connection I have with that car because, um, shit, I went to Mike's in it. And then with that car, I went to a mic where I met my wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. then taking her on dates and that thing and all that shit. And Do you know who has it? Uh, some kid named Kenneth. Sold Did it, you get it from Kenneth? Sold it to a kid named Kenneth. Get it Honestly, from Kenneth. brother, I've been thinking about DMing him and being Bro, like, "Get it back, yo, Do what's it. up?" That's dude? what, because that's the thing everyone's like, oh, man. And then I sold it, and then they closed the book. I'm like, "Well, buy it back." It, I sold it to Kenneth Perry. You're gonna <laughs> dump money and do it. That he it's lives gonna in, be more. He now. lives in Yorktown, Virginia. Kenneth, how's life going? Yeah, how's life? You want to get rid of that thing, Kenneth? That old thing. I bet that thing smells crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta smell crazy. <laughs> Damn it, Kenneth. Nick, you know how to cut to the core of me, dude. Yeah. With a good smell. Why did I sell it? He loves to smell it. Dude, he, every time. Guaranteed smells laugh. Crazy. You say it smells, something smells crazy. Dude, he gets me a banana phone every time. With the smell you know crazy. what my favorite thing you do at vin- uh, banana phone? Uh. One glass of vinegar. Oh, yeah. One glass of white <laughs> vinegar. If there's like a really creepy, nerdy white guy on stage. Yeah. Yeah. I love doing that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyone who looks like a vampire, I just... Pretend I'm them at a restaurant. <laughs> and they go, what do you want to drink? And I go, one glass of plain white vinegar, please. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. You know what it was is I was thinking about, I just saw, it, it, it's it's not something you think. I'm just like, this dude drinks vinegar. Like, you just yeah. see him. I saw that one guy, uh, what, last week we did the... We did the widowy for that guy. That shit was funny as fuck. Bro, we did widowy for. Uh, like, I did widowy for like five minutes. Yeah, it was the whole time. <laughs> the whole time that kid was on stage, I was like, "Oh, so you're into bad boys?" Yeah. Oh well, how do you feel about Shadow the Hedgehog fans? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> widowy. Five hundred and one feet away. <laughs> the nerdy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that the nerdy guy with the fanny pack? Yeah, and like yeah. The Marvel T-shirt on. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, they did and, I a... said, and then I said, "Do you like Marvel?" And he said, "Yeah." I'm like, "How about you, Marvel with these balls?" <laughs> 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 and he was like, "Come on, man." Go, oh, I man. did it. What else did I do? I went. Um, I went. Yeah, my mom's taking me to Wiggle Land this year. Yeah, <laughs> you can pretty much say I'm on my way to becoming a master builder. What are we? <laughs> <laughs> you know, dude. You, my buddy. Uh, uh, I work with dude, shout out Billy Swift. He made a really good observation about the widow we guys. Yeah. Is that there's like one or two of them in every school mm-hmm. and they don't communicate with each other. What do we? It's not an accent as nope. a group. It's nope. not a culture. Nope. It's you know what it is? It's what is it? The lack of someone in their life to be like, Stop Hey, why that. do you talk like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, why are you such a little fucking nerd? Yeah. Why are you such a little geeky homo? Yeah. That's There's mid- no bully. That's, that's Midwest, love your kid no matter what. Energy. Shit, that's how that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's how, well, I mean, so I had a friend, I had a friend growing up. When I turned 12 years old, I met this guy. His name was, uh, I met this guy in my neighborhood, this kid in my neighborhood. His name was Lars, and he changed the trajectory of my life. I picked up a skateboard and started listening to metal and shit like that. It changed the whole trajectory of my life. And I I saw that version of my life when I was working at Boost Mobile, if I didn't meet him. Oh, yeah. And this Asian lady came into my cell phone store to pay her bill, and she had her two um, 40-year-old sons with her. And one had a Nintendo DS. 40? 40 years old, Nintendo DS. Mom's paying his phone bill. They don't have their driver's licenses. Yeah. Yep. And then she would... She Where would, was this? This was in Newport News, Virginia. She'd come into the store and her sons weren't there. I'm like, how are your sons doing? She's like, yeah, they're fine. I'm just trying to help them get a job. They don't want to work. Bro. I take care of them. They're my babies, but they need to go to work. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. In that moment, I understood why my mom had died. Mm. Because if she didn't, I would be the widow wee guy. You if I never if I never met my buddy Lars, yeah. If I never if my mom never passed away and I never met Lars, I would still be widow wee guy. Yeah. Cuz I didn't get my shit together. She took care of everything. So when she I pa- she passed away when I was 15. Mm. And then from 15 to 20, I just spent my <clears throat> life like doing drugs and running away from what I needed to be doing. That might be some that might you might be being hard on yourself, bro. Hmm. Cuz you're like if my mom wouldn't have went I no. stayed like that. Oh, for sure. But you're going, well, she took care of everything. And then you go, I was 15. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you're 15, bro. That's what your mom, that's what your mom does when you're 15. No, nah, she was like ready to buy us an apartment to pay oh, for bills. Oh, like she was really. She okay. was ready All to right. pe- buy All us right. cars and buy our apartment and like literally just set us up to where we didn't have to work. Yeah, no. Nah, then she died. That. Yeah, that's yeah. how you. That's how you. Yeah, you. That's how you raise a a puddle of mud. Yeah. A pile of dirt. You know? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. that's the toxicity of growing up in like a Filipino household. They take care of their kids till the very end. They don't know when to let go. Oh yeah. They just don't know when to let go. Damn. It's pretty bad, dude. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm grateful that uh, I'm grateful for this version of my life though. It pretty uh, yeah. like my childhood sucked ass, but my adulthood rips. Yeah. And you know, early twenties was rough. It was a yeah. transformative time in my life. So. Like, I'll, I'll, every time I think some shit's wrong, it comes back around. Yeah full circle you'll understand shit you'll understand shit weeks months years ahead of time after yeah. when things happen you go okay makes yeah. sense took me 15 years Yo, to understand why my mom died g-man know? dude g-man genius for sure that dude's a genius it's all by his design and i wouldn't trade it because yeah. there's so many like people love to think about like if i went back in time and da, 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 and it's like dude you're you're going to be trying to recreate the good parts of your life that only exist in yeah, this yeah, timeline yeah, yeah. and that's not going to happen bro my first my first i just i just like recently within the last half a year year whatever in austin learned how to actually take an L. yeah and just live with it and like mm-hmm. every dude every time i'd fuck up cuz i thought i thought i had to ace this shit to get anywhere mm-hmm. like i'm fucking the opportunities I have in front of me. I'm in Austin. I'm fucking whatever. Mm-hmm. Any fuck up was like the biggest. Mm-hmm. You know, you'd when, when you'd I'm fucking punish up, yourself so much, dude. For a, for like a month, I'd lose my mm-hmm. mind over small shit. Well, because when, well, dude, when you grow up, like where I'm from, if you fuck up, who cares, bro? You're in a town of ten thousand people. There's nothing mm-hmm. happening. Oh no, you got blackout drunk mm-hmm. and fucking missed a day of school or whatever. But yeah, every mistake here is compounded. Because you, like, fuck up, you do some stupid shit, and you're like, damn, whoever, there's another guy who's working hard. Right. Just feels different. But I just recently right. I learned how to, you know, I thought I had to ace this shit to get anywhere. But that's not the truth, bro. People are stupid. No, Everyone's you just have stupid. to keep showing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can, beat th- people can beat on themselves and punish themselves all they want, but it's going to be the ones who continue. Yeah. I feel you, like being yeah. yourself. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, yeah. Uh, I was just gonna say, being yourself is huge out here. Yeah, like there's a lot of people Genuinely, not being themselves. Yeah, when you when you when you become yourself, right? You you be who you are. You don't have to worry about being somebody else when you're loved for who you are. Yeah, you don't have to keep up the facade of being loved for. Yeah, you know yeah, what like, I mean. Oh, the cool. I gotta be with the cool kids. I was loved for a character or whatever, or whatever. Yeah. Like this this character i made of myself or whatever and it's like no just yeah. what your your authenticity is rewarded here i've noticed and i that's what i love so much about austin comedy there's authenticity there's yeah. this version of that there's people like ryer cameraman mm-hmm. there's people like casey rocket shout out ryer legend. cameraman legend shout out miles casey John- and ryer yeah. miles johnson these yeah. goofy oh, yeah. wacky characters that it, and they find such good success and it's like dude that's when i got fired well when i got laid off from my job i was like all right cool i don't have to be anybody else anymore yeah because i hate being fake patrice o'neill i heard him say i was i was younger listening to him on Mm -hmm. a radio show or i think he was doing stand-up i think Mm -hmm. it was an audio album they would and do that as, on like Sirius like, XM and shit. Yeah. And, uh, yeah every yeah. time I listen to Patrice, it would be on like in my Camaro with Sirius XM when I have it on XL Comedy or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You had a Camaro? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Sick. What year? I, 2012. I did 20. We'll come, we'll come back to that or I'll right. fucking go down. I'll fucking. <laughs> cars, bro. You'll just yeah, do that we, forever. Uh, but yeah, I heard, I heard him. And it's like as edgy or trying to be dark or whatever as this sounds. Uh, trying to sound cool or whatever it did it like the, he he said he's like being fake it feels like i'm dying that's what mm-hmm. he said like it feels i can feel my soul yeah like I don't, I don't know if you've ever inhaled a cigar on accident yeah and you're like <laughs> it's like that i hate and i grew up around that i grew up around that midwest yeah shit and, and i grew up in fucking i grew up in the south yeah i grew up in virginia where everyone has to be an upstanding citizen all the time and yeah very punitive it's a fucking police state yeah me yeah 
cops police. Yeah, everywhere. Cops everywhere, keeping you in line. Did you go three miles an hour over the speed limit? Oh, dude, you're going to the fucking slammer, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, do you like bad boys? Yeah, I have two reckless driving yeah. tickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you like bad boys? I don't know how to take They my love foot. it. They love giving you... It's I, like when there's no problem, they find one. That's why I like... The, 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 Austin's the only place I've lived where I like the police. Yeah. And I know I'm a white dude with a red beard saying that. I get it. <laughs> yeah. But also, it's the only... They, if there's Kinda a like problem... like they'll mind your fucking business cops. They mind their own business. And people complain. They're like, they don't do their jobs. I'm like, you want the cops to fuck with you. That's yeah. what you want. Yeah. You want the cops from, to fuck with you. Yeah. They harass you. Mm-hmm. They because they're bored. You. They're bored. They have they have nothing to do, but they've been drilled into their head that it's like their job is serious. I had I had a dude. I got pulled over with my buddy one time. Mm-hmm. He's drunk. I'm not. I'm driving home. Big flex. Drunk driving is gay. Uh, <laughs> we get pulled over, and the dude breathalyzes both of us. Mm. Gets my buddy. Doesn't get me. And he goes, "Hey man, you're like a young kid. Why aren't you drunk? Every kid I pull over, usually they're both drunk." Why aren't you drunk? Just talking. And I'm like, I fucking, I'm trying to not drink because I'm young. And I had half a beer at noon and then I put it down because I remembered that I wasn't trying to drink. And he daps me up, right? (laughs) He's like, good shit, bro. You're nipping it in the butt, right? And then two weeks later, I get a letter in the mail. Child admitted to consuming alcohol earlier in the day. $400 ticket, (gasps) mandatory court appearance. So no. this dude, he goes, good job on the quitting drinking thing, but hit me with a $400. Because I said I had half a beer at noon, and, he, and, and I can't go back on that statement A-cab, legally. A-cab, A-cab, yeah. A-cab, A-cab. Yeah. But that's the thing, dude. Fat fuck. That's the thing, dude. Damn. Cops cops He's do shit like that. Fuck. that. Cops weird? do shit like that. That was in Minnesota. That's why I left. Minnesota, dude, when I came to Austin, I was the most paranoid little, yeah. a cop would go by, and I'd... People had to calm me down. They're like, dude, they're not like that here. They're fine. Yeah. Like, That's when I was, I was living here. in my van, a cop came up to me and was like, hey, is this your van? And I was like, yeah. You're He's shaking. Like, yeah. Fucking like, oh, fuck. You know, I'm going to jail. I'm getting... Mm-hmm. I mean, I went through the system as a kid, bro. I got I got locked up in we- on, on, on weekends in boys' homes, mm-hmm. in basically kid jail. I did 90 days in a <laughs> fucking boys' home. <laughs> I did, I was, you know what's crazy is if you got arrested now, they would send you to kid jail. <laughs> <laughs> Just a grown man in the kid jail. Like, oh, no, nah, we gotta, man. Nah, dude, we gotta put you in the jail with the other people your size. We can't yeah. have you in the big boy jail. Must be this high. You're gonna get raped in normal jail. <laughs> He's getting bullied by like toddlers. I'm and just yeah, getting bullied I'm just... by fucking eighth graders. <laughs> 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 getting just wedgies and... from fourteen year olds. Just a grown man. <laughs> He's getting fucking swirlies in the stainless steel toilet. Get the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> I he can't make us. a single move, bro. I can't make a single move in this city without someone calling me small. That's fucking one thing I've defends himself in fucking juvie, gets a charge for hitting a minor. <laughs> yeah. It's like, damn it, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> little ass, little ass bunk bed. Oh, yeah, <laughs> your feet are hanging off the edge type yeah. shit. <laughs> the blankets aren't long enough. Just <laughs> teaching kids how to do burpees. Yeah, they they put you in a cell and you're like, what the fuck? It's all cribs. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> There's a mammy in there. <laughs> how tall are you? I'm uh five nine. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you a little me. guy. You I was not me. even you tall. You're just like, what if? Dude. Dude. I was like, <laughs> dude, a boy can dream, someday, dude. A boy, dude. Don't ever get leg surgery. Five seven. Is don't tough. ever, don't ever get that leg surgery, bro. That, that shit is stupid as hell. You're never the I'm same. It's like that. when you get dick and dick, dick lengthening surgery. It's like, yeah, it's longer. It's not the same though. <laughs> yeah, you're taller, but you're gonna walk like a fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, your legs are longer, but you're gonna walk like a pterodactyl for the rest of your life. Just. Shoulders forward can only hold your like your weights yeah. all f- your weight distributions all fucked up now. Yeah, don't ever do that. Nah, fuck that. Body mods are crazy. Body modifications, childish piercings and all that shit. Like whenever I see somebody with a bunch of fucking piercings in their face, I'm like, the fuck yeah. are you doing? How do you travel? Yeah. How do you? You're at, <laughs> yeah. you're at fucking TSA. You're like one second, dude. Yeah, and now it's tink. <laughs> yeah, tink. How do you travel? Is crazy. Red Bar tink. said some funny shit about Ty Rivera. Tink. Really? Yeah, piercings. Oh, yeah, he man. goes, it looks like someone went up to your face with a BB gun. And went, Ouch. <laughs> yeah, their <laughs> facial piercings are just, dude, it's too much. It's too much. I hate having ear piercings. Like, yeah. if I got to get in a scrap with somebody, dude, you what, have, what you do have I... piercings? One second, dude. 
Do you do you have earrings? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. St- I have uh, studs. studs in my ear. So it's like somebody somebody tries to fucking scrap me or whatever. I'm gonna be like, yeah, dude, pause one second. Let me yeah. let me get these out first. Oh hell no! I have to like. Yeah, do, yeah, yeah. I might as well be wearing hoop earrings that have my name written in cursive in the middle. If yeah. I'm about to fight somebody, I'm fucking. I have to. Yeah. Di- I have to dissemble. I have yeah. to disassemble. <laughs> I have to disassemble my fucking face. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much. I you, tattoos too. I mean, I think you have tattoos. I think I have three tattoos. You have three tattoos. My brother has horrible tattoos. My brother moved to the Philippines and got like a bunch of. I have an autistic, learning disabled brother. <laughs> I, I, I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have I laughed have a, at just that. I have a there ret- wasn't a punchline left. I laughed at that. I have that's a re- fucked up, I have a but. retarded Asian brother. <laughs> I've got a retarded homeless Asian bro, the brother. Bro, he's looking at me deep in my soul while he's saying this. I have this a retarded crazy. little Dude, brother. you got to have him on the pod eventually for like the deep cuts of like the people that have listened since no. the beginning. Dude, you got to have No, him he'll get an ego. He'll do one episode of the show. <laughs> And he'll be you like, "You know, I'm Woody or Shoda Woody in yeah, Austin, Texas." Yeah, Michael, this is my show now. <laughs> just wanna, That's how he talks. Just want to let you know, brother, this is my show now. He talks like pot of greed. Yeah, <laughs> my brother is the pot of greed. That's why, like, nobody in our family will help him. He'll come to your house, right? It's, it's that toxic niceness shit, right? Yeah, the yeah. Lo- where you just help love him, him a little. You help him. Yeah, they loved him to death, yeah, and then yeah. my mom died, and now like nobody wants to take care of him because he's spoiled and he's entitled. But he's also like learning disabled. So like this is what happens: you help my brother out, right? Yeah. He lives with you for a month. All right. Yeah. Uh, a week later, you come home from work. There's six black dudes on your couch smoking a blunt with him. And you go, hey, what's the deal with this? He's like, oh, these are my friends. <laughs> it's pretty cool, dude. And then, then you go into your bedroom, and then there's a random black dude in your bedroom looking through your shit. Mm. And then you go, hey, all you guys need to get the fuck out. Yeah. And then he tells those black dudes, the whole time that you've been at work, he's been telling those black dudes, uh, yeah, this is my place. I pay for it all. Uh, my, I let my brother live with me. That's funny. This is a true story. He he he's he's back. He's like way down the factory settings of just like I want to feel cool around black people. Yeah, That's and he's molded his entire life around that. Yeah. He and sounds it, pretty sick. I'm how old is he? Lie, dude. He's twenty seven. What's he What's he into? What's he like? Right now, well, like na- if he was here right now and that podcast ended, what would he want to go do? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I have no fucking idea. Yeah, ask for money. <laughs> Oh, uh, we should go to your house, Michael, and see if your wife will let me live here for free. <laughs> That's what he'd want to do. We almost moved him out here. Thank God we didn't. Is, I love, he, is he diagnosed? I love my autistic brother. Just because he's goofy. No, he's definitely autistic. He's just when he was getting diagnosed, that shit didn't exist yet. Because I, I miss those days. My wife has a. My, I'm gonna be honest. I miss the. Because remember when kids were just weird? Yep. Remember, was there just they're just like nerds or widow wee kids or? Yeah, my brother would drool, he like drooled until he was like fourteen. That's heavy. Yeah, that's pretty just... serious. I was about to say maybe he doesn't have autism, but no, he was drooling like crazy. Yeah. My mom had a heart attack while she was while she was pregnant with him. Oh. I think his brain is too big for his skull. <laughs> Tried to tell us that his brain. The doctors had no idea. They were just making shit up. They're like, "Yeah, we think his brain's too big for his head." Like just his making head, shit up. Yeah, they're just making shit up. They didn't fucking know what the fuck's wrong with this motherfucker, yeah. dude. They but did. Yeah. They did that to me with the uh, Adderall. <laughs> they yeah, did. they did that to me too. They did. They're just like. I was just smart as fuck and getting bored. Yeah. They're like, yeah, all right, give him meth. Yeah, it's hey, crazy. School sucks. Yeah, school's gay. I mean, maybe I'm not built for this. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to be in a Montessori school, learning how to fucking create the next generation of workforce. Like, yeah. <laughs> maybe I'm, maybe yeah. I'm supposed to be building the next Apple. Yeah. How many people are like that, dude? The Montessori school it fascinates me. Do you What's know what that? Mon- is? No. It's a school. There's no like, Google what it is, yeah, Taylor. There's yeah. no yeah. regular curriculum. Seen it around. There's but no I don't regular know what it is. curriculum. It's well, like. There's they, one by my house. Yeah, they, they they're here. They're around. Yeah, here. they have oh, them here. Yeah. They're expensive as fuck, but they'll make your kid every dude. Everybody who owns a fucking multi million dollar business, all these rich CEOs and shit, all these Steve Jobs ass motherfuckers, they went to Montessori schools. No shit. Yeah, because they go to these well, different. Because so they're like, oh, your kid will help your kid be your himself. Here, look. Yeah. Okay. Traditional classrooms often emphasize disembodied education and memorization with seated book learning. To the contrary. The Montessori approach embraces embodied education, the philosophy that movement and learning are tied together. Oh, you mean, 
Oh, you mean me do, me fucking doing this? Yeah. Straight out? Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Us, like, being, like, jumping jacks and fucking yeah. tapping on the desk and shit. Yeah, because I'm like, dude. I stood up uh, in the middle of Banana Phone and jerked off, fake jerked <laughs> off in front of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? No. I, like, couldn't sit still. This dude was in the middle of his minute, like, trying really hard. And and he kind of like looked over towards our end oh, of the panel. Oh yeah, 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 I think I remember seeing and that. He's like really trying to get the crowd to laugh, and I just stood up and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like that in his face. That's Wait, good. Yeah, you need to fucking not put your kids on on pharmaceuticals. I don't. I like know that. it's like dogmatic at this point. I know now every, people know that now, but the way the doctor laid it out to me when I was that age is like, oh yeah, this is like a vitamin. They're like, this is a medicine. Like that's and that's what my grandma was like. Well, you go to the doctor for medicine, Nick's. That's poison. It's horrible. I was smoking cigarettes by the time I was fifteen. I was. I would come home from school just yacked on a fucking Adderall. Yeah. Just coked out of my mind. I was like, dude. I do love stimulants now. <laughs> Any nicotine, I try not to. <laughs> How? Wh- when do they put you on? When I was 13, but by the time Bro. I was 15, I was... No, Bro. no, I was smoking by the time I was 13. Bro, they got me when I was, like, a toddler with, oh, the, with the Vivance. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah. Fucking... <laughs> Which is a retarded drug to just be on when you're that ass, young. Just a yacked-ass yeah. toddler. Just, just why... Like, because what are you... on the... Coked out. What are you learning at that age that you need to be... I was just tying the fuck out of my shoes and, like, yeah, grinding you... my teeth. <laughs> dude, you're, you're fucking... <laughs> They're like, what color comes... What, what, what letter comes after B? I'm like, fucking C. <laughs> Grinding my teeth. D E F G H I J K. I was <laughs> irritable. I was yeah. irritable as fuck. A little ki- like a little kid would talk next to me. I'm like, you shut the fuck up. This is important. You're I'm holding learning. a crayon like this. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Just geeked out. Like learning about animals. Like, mm-hmm. I, like used to, I used to count the ceiling tiles. Yeah, I'd count the ceiling tiles X, and then I'd count the ceiling tiles Y, and then yeah. I would times them, and then. I would get that number and then I would count all of them just to make sure the math yeah. was right. I would color an enti- I would color an entire piece of notebook paper black. <laughs> <laughs> You're just I would. I would just go like 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 methodically. I'd be like, <laughs> and then I'd start a new row. Like I'm mowing oh, the nice. line. Yeah, and I'd just be like, teacher, look. And There's something shoot. about that completion that just. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you're on Adderall, that's yeah, fucking dude, the crazy ass shit I would do on Adderall, dude. Yeah, I would do school projects and like go so hard. Like I would, my grades were good because I would go nuts. Like they, they were like, "Hey, do a presentation on World War One," and I went home and like built a fucking biplane out of cardboard, <laughs> and I was like, "This is the plane they had." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I would, I would just, you're just geeked out. You're a kid. Yeah, you're geeked it's out like, I'm gonna make an entire. <laughs> I'm going to make an entire Indian reservation out of matchsticks and hot glue. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be perfect. Yeah, yeah. Like, holy shit, these, yeah, this is a wall, yeah. Look, this is like the entire perimeter is made out of yeah. matchsticks, and then I have the roof that just, yeah. Pfft, yeah, Ridley made a wigwam out of toothpicks. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I had a full fucking, dude, oh my god, I used to fucking, a uh, big thing I liked was clay. Oh, dude, oh, I would yeah. sculpt. I yeah. would sculpt, dude. You know Plato's what? Plato's big for an Adderall kid. Dude. Yeah. This shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, Yo, dude, take stimming. a Vivance and do this, bro. Yo. Stimming. <laughs> <laughs> just stimming with the Plato snake, yeah. dude. Just the Plato snake is crazy on, Ad- yeah, on Adderall. It's bro. melting in your fucking hands from yeah. the friction. You're just. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, we had a fucking. I remember one time in science class, we had those computer probes. We had a temperature probe in science class, and I was just on Adderall rubbing my hands together, getting it as hot as I fucking can, yeah. and then I'd grab the probe and be like, oh, sick, 102 f- degrees. Sick. <laughs> sick, 110. I would just get my fucking hands hella hot, and I kept yeah. checking the temperature. I would just do crazy shit like that on Adderall. Yeah. Grind you, the, the fuck one, out of my teeth. All my molars on, are flat. They, they put, put you me on, on at 13? 60 milligrams. 60 is the cap, 60, too. 60, dude. That's the cap. 60 XR. <laughs> 60 XR. That's crazy. Extended release Adderall flowing through my veins. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, another A, plus, yeah. as it was written. <laughs> Oh wow! Aced that class. Literally, bro. I took so it as as it was told in the prophecy. Yeah. <laughs> I would come. To, 
I would walk in the Spanish too. I'd be floating off the ground. My books would follow me. I'm like telepathically <laughs> carrying my books. There's fucking I have these big ass veins on my head and shit. And yeah. I, I I can quote <laughs> I can quote any obscure pop culture reference from the early nineties. I'm like yeah. omelette du fromage. Yeah. Just fucking <laughs> Didi, what are you doing in my laboratory, <laughs> Didi? <laughs> Yeah. Fucking dick all shriveled up. Oh, yeah. 13 years old, can't even get a boner. Yeah. Just come home, smoke a cigarette, go to my room, open Bang Bros, and just viciously flick my dick just to get some spark going. And then that motherfucker would just... And then I'd have a hard coke dick at 13, yeah. just beating my dick for 20 yeah. minutes straight. Yeah, Adderall doesn't help the wanting to jerk off constantly. Thing no, it does not, it dude. Help it it at all. ramps it up, and then well, well, and you're good at you're good at logistics, so you're like, I can be done in five minutes. And then yeah. I, still, <laughs> I still have time to go do whatever. Yeah, there's like an I like put there, I'll put pizza rolls in the microwave, jerk <laughs> off, and I come and it's like ding. <laughs> <laughs> like I, <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking. I'm fucking. A, a, you see equations floating around in my head, but I'm just doing jerk off math. I'm like, yeah. all right. So if I get the, da, 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 then I can get on Halo Three with the boys at six thirty, yes. and then I'm fucking. Yes. Yeah. I'll be saying N word. I'll be saying the N word in the cod lobby in no yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. I would get off Xbox and be like, hey guys, my mom made food. I'd go jerk off, and then I'd come back. <laughs> <laughs> I would do crazy shit. Like. Yeah. It doesn't help, dude. Just in, a, I, I was, just, just in a private Halo lobby where everyone's using the machine guns, but they're putting the vibrating controller on their nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, keep shooting me. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, keep shooting me, dude. M mute me your mic. Yeah, mute, mute your fucking mic, mute dude. Mute your mic, dude. That's so crazy. So horny on Xbox, arguing it's with crazy. college kids. Crazy. I, dude, I was I was jerking off so much as a kid. At one point, I I, I sat down. It was like one of my first days in a computer class, mm -hmm. and I sat down at a computer. And muscle memory, <laughs> muscle memory. I sat down at a keyboard. I stuck my hand in my pants, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I was so used to jerk. My brain saw a fucking keyboard and was like, it's go time, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I stuck like I'm glad I caught like when it. A, like when a pit bull sees another pit bull. Yeah, yeah. I was like that. I sat down. It was like, shoo, and I took it out right away. I like caught myself right away, and I looked around. Oh, but dude. like, if you'd have been there, you'd have just seen me grab I had, my. I had a fucking problem, dude. I'd go to the bathroom. I would just be fucking milking in the bathroom, just uh, fucking shoot. in the bathroom, dude, shooting one in the toilet. I'm trying to think of the most depraved place there's the, they're coming for us dude you hear that yeah this conversation are. is arrest worthy yeah you jerking off in the middle school <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> were you in were you jerking off in the middle school at an appropriate age yeah. <laughs> yeah did you have a poop bandit in your school a poop bandit <laughs> yeah i've talked to a few people that have a poop bandit no but you know what i used to do whenever somebody was taking a shit in the stall oh, yeah. i would take a shit ton of paper towels out of the thing Get them real wet. wet. I'm, I'm talking like a volleyball size of paper towels, wet That's as fuck. That's that Adderall ball. And, yep. Where you have enough focus to be like, I'll get the right. whole roll. I'm gonna shit. take the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 I would take, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be coked out on Adderall. I'm like, all right, dude, I'm gonna get this motherfucker, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull them all out, get them soaking wet, make a perfect ball, and then I would dunk them on the guy in the stall, over the wall, over the partition. <laughs> I, would, I would jump up and fucking slam him with wet paper towels and run out laughing. Also, slamming someone with paper towels while they're shitting and then calling it over the partition is pretty crazy. Yeah. It's like a really good word. Over the partition, just yeah. fucking slam it on and be like, dude, what the fuck? And then I'd turn the lights off and leave. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do crazy shit in school, dude. Yeah. I would do the most ignorant shit. Pranks. We had a no, nah, dude. We had a photography class, and this kid I knew fucking took a shit in one of the fucking chemical mixings, like in the dark room. We were in the dark room of the photography class. This kid shit in a container and put it in one of the ceiling <laughs> tiles. And there's just girls in there developing their photographs. So like, it smells horrible. Who farted in here? Meanwhile, yeah. there's a steaming hot pile of shit in, above the ceiling. What did you say? You put it in. A uh, Tupperware? A Tupperware, yeah. Oh, man. Because they were using Tupperware to, like, put the chemicals in, like, the oh, uh, yeah, developer yeah. and shit. So we poured all the developer out. My homie shit in the container and then put it up in the ceiling tiles. We had a poop bandit. He would just shit and smear it all over the bathroom. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And I talked to other people, and they're like, we had a poop bandit. Yeah. I've even heard it been called poop bandit by other people, so separate the, schools. Yeah, that's crazy that, like, it's an American thing. Yeah. Like, we're such a depraved society. You know what my buddy said? There's no I... poop bandit in J Japanese schools. I'm just going to say. There's no, <laughs> no. There's nobody fucking doing, no. what is that? The, the 
what is that where they dip the ink in the giant brush? <laughs> there's, no, there's no one in Japan doing calligraphy writing, with their own shit. Writing, <laughs> writing kanji. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah There's yeah. no doo-doo kanji uh, artist. Yeah. Yeah, it just says "fuck you" and like symbols and shit. Yeah. yeah, it would great. It would bring great dishonor, bro. They don't do that. They don't do that shit, shit like that. Who the fuck would do that? The poop poop bandit. bandit. Poop bandit, bro. Poop bandit is crazy. Endless entertainment, and then they they go over the school speakers and be like, "Whoever the fuck is shitting." <laughs> Whoever's doing this, you will be found and you will be stopped. <laughs> literally, literally, they'd like try to get him. Bing, bing. Just an announcement. Whoever's wiping doo-doo all over the walls in the bathroom, <laughs> yeah. you will be found and you will be stopped. Yeah. We're looking at cameras every day. Yeah. There's an open investigation. <laughs> Teachers, <laughs> check your email. <laughs> bing, bing. <laughs> You're good at the bing bong, dude. You're good yeah, at the fucking I've heard thing. the bing bong a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Michael, you... please come to the principal's office right now. Yeah. Bing, oh, yeah. Bing. Michael Ridley to the principal's office. Did you have that a lot? Michael Ridley to the principal's office. Bing, bing. Kids knew me from that. Yeah. They'd go, met, oh, used... you're that kid that gets called down to the office twice a day. It's pretty yeah. sick. Yeah. I used to get fucking, dude, one time my school suspended me and they told me to walk home and they got in big trouble for that. Whoa. They got. They kicked me off campus. And made me walk home. Not good for them. Not good. Who got them in hurt. trouble? Your parents. I think they were just like, "Oh, we shouldn't have done that." Mm. Mm-hmm. So they were just like, "You know, we're just gonna go ahead and expel you, so nothing else happens." Mm. And then I had to repeat the eighth grade once I moved back to the U.S. Damn. Yeah. Japan. They kicked you out of school. Yeah, I was going to a military school in Japan on base. Bro, your backstory is... is it's there's, Every time I talk to you, there's another layer. <laughs> there's, dude, the Ridley lore is crazy. It is crazy. My lore is crazy. Yeah, you got some good lore. Yeah, mom dying, school, fucking yeah. and getting in trouble, fucking going to jail, being homeless, selling yeah. drugs. I sold sold yeah. hard drugs for a while. I'm not going to say what kind. I don't so, know what the I statute sold, of limitations are, but I sold hard drugs with my roommate. No, I no. sold a lot of weed here. I mean, mm. not a lot, but... When I was living in my van, I'd work mm. for a weed farm. Oh, nice. They'd pay me in weed. But they'd pay me That's in so more, funny. more weed than an hourly. Because they knew it's, like, kind of fucked. Like, I should be getting money. So they'd probably pay me double the hourly wage in weed. Like, sometimes you'd work for a little bit, and they're like, here's a fucking ounce. You yeah, just you could just flip the ounce real would, quick and make dude, a little Dude, I would go to open mics, and at the end of my set, I would go, I'm selling weed. <laughs> And that's not a joke. I am selling weed. And yeah. I'd have pre-rolls. And I'd sell them for like 10 bucks a pop. Perfect. And I'd get enough money every night to like eat. Hey. Yeah. Uh, let's hit pause real quick. We'll be right back, guys. You pissing? Yes, sir. I got a pee, too. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, and we're he's back. Yeah, well, so what did you do to combat your inner monologue? Yeah. You feel like was that, get... was, that was recording, huh? Yeah, it was. But give that's it started cool. over now. I, uh, I used to I used to smoke. Uh, I used to smoke weed quite a bit. I was selling it too, but I used to smoke quite a bit. And I weed makes me a fucking schizo. Yeah, it makes me schizophrenic. It, it's too. like recreational. I don't know how to. I don't know how to turn off the inner voice when I get high. I start yeah. fucking. Da- I do a lot of down talk. I Self- leave. Yeah. <laughs> I have to. I had now. I used to be able to kind of hang out. Just Irish now. goodbye. Yeah. Just high as fuck, walking home alone. Yeah. Yeah. Walking home alone, getting pranked by youth, <laughs> by urban youth. <laughs> uh, speaking of, <laughs> how do you? So how how have you been able to combat the? Uh, well, I, I used to I used to think that when you're high, you're like people fucking know I feel like this, like they know they can feel my thoughts, like, and so now to combat that, when if I'm in a if I'm in an elevator with black people, I scream the n word in my head. <laughs> And they never look. <laughs> so it's like, I yeah, know there's it, no way they can hear this. Yeah, because if that paranoia was real, then I would do it, and they'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> they'd look right at me. That's like they're all like Agent Smith from the Matrix. They're just yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's funny as fuck. Yeah, I should have said I should have I should have said that when the when we were back all the way in. I know. All the back what about all this? The way in. What about the? Uh, let's go back to school and growing up. School and growing up, dude. She, uh, I was like, I grew up in the pretty good area and there wasn't a lot of kids with bad home situations. Yeah. So I was like that kid. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I was the, uh, they moved us to a nice neighborhood, but we were still like the most broken household on the block. It was very apparent. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like my my dad doesn't, my, the, the father figure I live with doesn't look like me. <laughs> fat Mexican dude with a pointy nose. <laughs> my stepdad was crazy. The pointy nose. Yeah, he was like a big fat guy. He was like a like picture Wario, but with brown skin. 
That's and, funny. Uh, yeah, he was a commercial fisherman, so he would be. Wow, wow, <laughs> pendejo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. pinche pendejo, just, <laughs> just getting in a car accident with no insurance. Fucking yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I fucking your mommy. <laughs> Hey, nope. fuck it, sus niños malos, ha ha. No policia, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Co- I'm being racist. Cocaine, again. cocaine. He would just do, he would do a bunch of coke and he'd hit us. Oh, he'd get, no. yo, dude, he would get coked out of his mind for two weeks straight and just beat the shit out of That's us. That's a crazy segue from Mario. Wow. Just go from <laughs> wow to like, yeah, he hit us hard. <laughs> <laughs> That yeah, was a crazy to, thing yeah, for my brain to, to like. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Welcome, welcome now to Radio Ridley Radio, dude. Yeah, welcome, that's fair to, welcome to the trauma dome. The trauma dome. You've entered the trauma zone. Oh, with dude, Radio yeah, I got Ridley some, Radio. I can be in the trauma dome. Dude. Step into the trauma zone dome with me, dude. What do we got, dude? My grandma raised me for the most part. Yeah, that's always rough. She's too old. She doesn't know what the fuck kids like. You're dressed weird. She's cool, though. She, I did dress weird. You were dressed weird And as also, fuck. she caught me watching porn one time. Oh, nice. And no. she thought... She thought... <laughs> Meemaw, no! She thought porn was illegal. <laughs> and so she was like... She caught literally... Call I'm jerking cops. off, and she like... Hello, 911? Yeah, bro, my grandson's like, jerking, jerking <laughs> shit. <laughs> She was like, Nick, they'll take the house. And I'm like, I'm literally just on hub right now. Like, uh, we're gonna, Nick, we're going to lose the house. Yeah, everything that ever happened, she catch, she'd find weed. They're, like, They're going to take the house. She was like such a, she used to be so scared. That's she, crazy how much authority, like how much she grew up, like respecting authority to where she's creating things that aren't authority. real. The fear of authority uh, creates, uh, that's, my dad's like that too. Yeah. My and dad's she, like and that. she grew up as a woman in like the 40s. Mm-hmm. So if she's like, well, I don't think that's how it should be. They'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. So she, yeah, she's. Yeah, my dad was born in 53. Oh yeah, my old dad. So yeah, he's like that too. He'd always be like, put your, your put your seatbelt on. We're gonna get a ticket. It's a yeah. secondary thing. They can't pull you over for a seatbelt, dad. Well, I don't, don't care. Put they, it on anyways. They can where I'm from. Oh yeah, they it's a primary. Fuck you. They oh fuck yeah, you. dude. Anything, anything they can. They're yeah, like, my dad always is like, slow down. We're going five over. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, like, dude, yeah, yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. You want? Do you want to drive? Yeah. What? Yeah, the it, worrying. Do your yeah. parents worry a lot? Oh, my dad always is. My dad is like, a, my dad's like a woman, dude. I got into it with my grandma today. Yeah? Because I was like, my mom My mom called me and was like, hey, uh, she's like, your car needs to be fixed. Do you want help with that? Like, do you want me to help pay for that? And I'm like, I no. mean, if you want to. No, don't don't accept the I help. Don't, I didn't want to, but I'm like, I have people, I have, the other side of my brain is like, I don't have a right to refuse help right now. Right. That's where I'm at. Yeah. So I... I don't want to. I don't like taking money, but you know. I would say take it then. Yeah, yeah. I don't but know. don't. I don't. I wouldn't take it if it was my dad. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't accept help from my dad. He's like. It feels bad. No, no. It. He. It's a. It's a trap. It is a trap. It's a trap. It's so he'll so he'll you. help me, and then he'll fucking. Indian, manipulate. Indian giver. Yeah, he'll manipulate yeah. and fucking use it as leverage for some shit. My whole life's been like that. So yeah. the first time in my life, I don't need his help like that. I'm a grown man. He can't. My dad can't grasp he has that. No I'm, way in. Yeah. yeah, like you went to my wedding, and it's like you still saw me as a child, even at my wedding. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. and now I'm 30 years old. I moved him out here. I paid for all his shit. He can't grasp. I've cut him off. I haven't talked to him in. I haven't talked to him since February. Yeah. I don't talk to my dad no more. We're not on speaking terms. It was just Father's Day. So I don't I don't talk to his ass because it I yeah. caught on I was like oh this is why nobody likes you yeah I figured out why nobody in our on his side of the family talks to him or me or my brother yeah it's like oh dude you've you've ruined every relationship you've ever had yeah bridge burner yeah he's a he's a perpetual line stepper yeah and he's a perpetual bridge burner perpetual line stepper is funny dude he is he's that's always that's a funny phrase perpetual line stepper yeah. oh yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah. that's a good t shirt. Yeah. Yeah. He's always cross. He he has no, my, he's my no sense of boundaries. My, set, my dad, I don't know if line stepper, there is no line for him, really. Oh, yeah. That's my dad. So line That's stepper doesn't even work. But yeah, the entire one side of my family fucking hates that guy. Mm. Like, like any time. It's my my 86 year old grandma, old Catholic, like very, like life is good and bright, wholesome lady. You mentioned my dad and she's fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
not mention the father, yeah. Nicholas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not mention the yeah. father of Nicholas? Literally. Literally. It's the only person she hates. <laughs> Crawling on the ceiling. Yeah, and she's shit. on the ceiling and shit. Her head's spinning. Why? <laughs> You're like, Mima, chill. She's like, oh, okay. Back to knitting on the couch. Yeah. Back to knitting on the couch. You hear her neck snap in place. Yeah. <laughs> Like that. Her fingers shortened back to normal length. <laughs> she yeah. had the fucking yeah, crazy yeah, yeah, ass yeah, long, yeah, yeah. creepy old lady yeah. fingers. She yeah. turns into like a god of war monster every time. <laughs> like in horde mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doth mention the father of Nicholas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and then I'm there like, Ares! <laughs> Me screaming at my dad. Yeah, you're tiny. Yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. fucking little. Marys! <laughs> you the... will not deny me my child support check. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> we need the boy requires sustenance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Quick time event. Press yeah, circle. yeah, yeah. Press circle. Beat the shit yeah, out no, of your my dad. dad. Yeah, just cuts to you doing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, ripping his head oh. off like Helios. Yeah. yeah, dude, that's funny. Taking, yeah. taking the taking the dismembered head to the child support office, and he's yeah. just like, "Yeah, go ahead and swipe the card." Yeah, <laughs> making Bro, him authorize you know, the You know payment. what happened to me? What? You want to know what happened to me? The the <coughs> the child support office fucked up one time. Yeah, and without knowing it, I worked at this plant nursery for like a year or something. Mm -hmm. And without knowing it, I paid my own child support. Are you for, a junior? For a year. You're a junior. My, da my dad and you're just you're a junior. Junior, like, is he is he Nick V Senior? Yes. No, he's my my middle name is his last. I mean, it's the normal shit. Oh. My middle name is his first name. Oh, okay. And the office fucked up for a year. So I you're paid my paying own your child own support. child support, and it didn't even go to me. That's a crazy thing. I didn't get a <laughs> check back. Like some other kid just. <laughs> Some other Nick Vandor was like fucking sick. sick. <laughs> yeah, dude. I paid my own child support for a year. Don't ever tell me I don't fucking. I'm not self sustaining, bro. I literally <laughs> paid my own child support. You you got to turn that into a bit. That's yeah. Hard, dude. Yeah, I talked about that. I told. I remember the day it happened. The day it happened, I told my buddy's little brother. Yeah. And he fell on the floor and cried laughing. That's what I'm saying. The moment that I can turn art, this kind of conversation that we're having right now, the moment I can turn this kind of conversation into material yeah. is the moment I become like a, uh, is when I'll consider myself a legend in comedy. Is when yeah. I'm able to take all this shit and turn it, like yeah. take that real shit. I'm Keep like, this shit on you, bro. Keep I know. a little ass, little notebook. I know. When I figure out how to like stop being, I don't. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now is like, oh, man, it works, but it's not who I want to be anymore. Yeah. And it terrifies me because it's difficult and I don't want to do it because I hate the feeling of failure. But the failure is what is how you garnish the material. Yeah, you got to suck it. You have to suck. It has to suck for a little bit. at least. It has to suck so that you can figure out how to write it. And then when I try to sneak it in, every time I've taken a chance, like I've wrote this bit where I, I, I thank the audience and I tell them about how um, my mom is no longer with us. Mm. And uh, the only reason why I do comedy is because she told me two weeks before she passed away that I should be an entertainer. And that's why I'm in front of you people right now. So I wanted to say thank you. Mm. That's how you get off. And then I go, I can still remember the last thing she told me before <laughs> she passed away. She looked up at me on her deathbed. She looks up to me and she goes, <laughs> Horrified audience. Nobody's laughing. No one la <laughs> No one's laughing. No one's laughing. That's nuts. I'm Where like, I'm like making have you myself cry. It to work? Making myself cry <laughs> on stage. My eyes are welling up. You can see it in the lighting on stage. Yeah. And then I go, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, nothing. I think you made yourself cry on the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I can make myself cry. Yeah, I can him, make myself cry. He used that story to make himself cry. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, I can make myself cry. I've well, got that so Irish, much to, I got that that Irish, Irish fucking sealed shit. duct. Yeah. You got those Irish sealed ducts. Yeah. I'm chill all day, and then I get home, and I'm like... Yeah, you got that voice in your head. 
Nicholas, if you cry, you're a fucking you're pussy. You're a fucking gay. <laughs> you're yeah, a fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. gay. Literally. You're a fucking gay. Don't you dare cry, you <laughs> fucking pussy. Yeah, fucking pussy. Don't you dare. Don't you dare let a drop of water come out of your eyelids. <laughs> you fucking pussy. You might as well cut cut your fucking cock off and turn it inside out. Yeah. If you're gonna let a tear <laughs> drop out of those eyes. Turn it inside out if you're going to let a tear drop Turn out of those eyelids. <laughs> you fucking pussy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have that. That's it. Do you, you know just, what, do you know you what keeps happening to me with Irish dudes? Uh-uh. Every time I've been super low about my comedy, yeah. I'm feeling bad about myself. I'm like, man, am I being seen? Yeah. Am I being noticed? Yeah. I'll be at the creek in the cave yeah. in an Irish traveler. Yeah. In Austin, there in are town, always one. there are I've always Irish I've, there's dudes. Always one. There's, there's always verified. one Irish dude who watches Kill Tony, and he's visiting Austin to go see the show. Yeah, and then I'll be at Creek in the Cave, and he goes, "Oi, you're Michael Ridley, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oi, let me tell you something right now, bud. You're a fucking legend. <laughs> Don't ever stop." Don't ever stop. You hold on to your dreams and you hold on to them tight. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, that's what you need, though. Got G-Man comes to me in the form yeah, of a Irish fucking man. Irish, yeah. drunk Irish dude at yeah. fucking Creek in the Cave. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe you're here. Let me, could I get a picture with you? <laughs> could I get one picture with you? And yeah. I'll tag you on Instagram. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, sure, dude. Thanks. Yeah. You're a fucking legend, but keep going. Yeah. Keep fucking going. And yeah. I'm like, all right. Thanks. Yeah. Fucking, it's the weirdest NPC interaction. It's good though. It helps. Yeah, the though, machine. It? The machine is like run uh inspiring Irish dude. <laughs> dot exe. But it doesn't. It, w- but it wouldn't. Ridley. It wouldn't hit as good if it was someone else. Yeah, because if it was just like, like an Indian guy, it wouldn't be. Oh my goodness, my girl, you're so funny. Yeah. I love your material yeah. about yeah. Indian dad. I love yeah. her dad. Yeah. I've seen the podcast, man. Yeah. Funny stuff, man. Yeah. Radio Vidli Radio. Yeah, yeah. Radio Vidli Radio. <laughs> give, give me the Irish one again, dude. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're like better at it. Yeah, she's good at that shit. It's all right. Do me a favor, lads. I want you to. I want you to smash that subscribe button if you <laughs> haven't already. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tell two lads to tell two lads. <laughs> it's the funniest <laughs> show that nobody's ever heard about. If you find, you know what you find at the end of the rainbow. A sweaty Chinese man with a microphone. Come on down there. <laughs> Just a sweaty Chinese man. Yeah. What's the crack, lads? What's the crack? Yeah. I watch these guys on YouTube, Juice Boxed for you. They're like some Irish Japanese car enthusiasts. You oh, should yeah. check it out. I watched it while I was working out today. That's me. Like, yeah. That's literally me. Yeah. yeah. So I figured you'd like it. It's like it's like a everybody watched Haggard Garage as a kid, but then you end up watching more skids and more Haggard skid. Garage. Haggard gr- Haggis Garage. Haggis Garage. <laughs> Uh, I guess. Uh, today we're, we're, we're putting a turbo charger on a Renault. You know, you might be able to help me get this character out. I'm kind of good at the Scottish really? thing. Yeah. You're seeming pretty good at it. Yeah. It's a it's a Scottish guy that... I think of the guy with one leg from Samurai Jack. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's who I think yeah, of the, when the I... Yeah, the sword. That's yeah, who yeah. I try to do in He's my head. He's the machine gun leg. He's the Scottish guy. Yeah, the Scottish guy, yeah. Which Sam? Quick shout out, Samurai Jack rules. It is one of the greatest shows ever built. It Phil is Lamar, one of the best. Phil Lamar voices an Asian guy and does like. <laughs> <laughs> is he white? Oh, so this Phil Lamar. Oh yeah, it's that black dude. The black dude from uh, that got his brains blown out in Pulp Fiction is the voice of. Yeah, Samurai you gotta Jack. have a religion. That guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. what's this character you're working on? It's just, it's, it's very, it's, <laughs> it's a very simple Boom. character. Samurai Jack, right there. It's very simple. It's just what's a Scottish. Character? It's a Scottish guy that doesn't understand gay people. <laughs> and he's basically he's just like, why the fuck would you be gay? <laughs> Putting your dick in another man's arm. <laughs> That's it. He just doesn't get homosexuality. And he's angry. <laughs> so you're telling me yeah. they're adopting kids now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Who? I put the willy in the willy. Yeah, that's the whole character. You're yeah. touching cocks with your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what he in the it. Sam Hill's going on? Yeah, yeah. I do that in my head a lot. What are you eating this, Argus, from the back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poo! 
<laughs> yeah. Purr, Purr, you're disgusting. 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 Homophobic. Homophobic Scottish dude yeah, is hilarious. Yeah. It's ma- it makes me laugh every day. <laughs> like, I, it's to the point where I say, I see a gay guy in public, I'll be at Whole Foods, and in my head I'm like, why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> Holding hands with another grown man. <laughs> Making me uncomfortable at the HEB. What the fuck are you doing? For Christ's sakes, it's, we're in the meal simple oil. Disgusting. <laughs> Just trying to get the steak and potatoes for dinner. I see two lads grabbing ass at the grocery store. Grabbing for- ass. <laughs> yeah. I see two lads grabbing ass at the grocery store. Pooh! <laughs> <laughs> <Best> me sick! <laughs> We didn't fight for this! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Fish dead eyes! <laughs> uh, coming from a dude who has who's freeballing in a skirt. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. a fucking yeah. dude fucking yeah. going commando in a kilt. Yeah. His fucking balls are out. Yeah, you're half a tranny, dude. <laughs> dude yeah, you're half yeah, you're yeah. half a trans, dude. Yeah. You're fucking you got the if ponytail. I, but to be fair, if I was on an island by myself, like Scotland, it's it's your own place and it's just you and the boys. Yeah. When you kind of be like, why are we all in leg pants? Yeah. My balls hurt. Right. Let's do something Change else. Change the meta. Yeah, let's do something else, dude. Yeah. Let's fucking... Yeah. Yeah. God damn. That's why redhead people uplift you, dude, because we fought British people for a fucking thousand years. Yeah. Not very hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Because you're Mongolian. <laughs> <laughs> You have conquered the. Why the dude. fuck would you build a wall? <laughs> <coughs> the best trainees That's are at crazy. Whole Foods, straight up, though. Yeah, they usually do. They usually do because they sell all the food that their bodies can accept. Can't eat too much processed shit. They already got processed genitals. Yeah, you can't be. You can't. <laughs> GMO penis. Yeah, GMO penis and GMO the GMO wussy. Yeah, crazy rip. It's very funny to be on estrogen. Yeah, that's hilarious. And to be me. like, I need my rice to be organic. Yeah, that's so fucking funny. Dude. That's, that's so, very strange. To yeah, me, it's yeah. like I care about my body. One second, let me just <laughs> one second. He goes to a doctor's office. They've got the fucking lumber saw. <laughs> <laughs> the deli slicer. The deli slicer. Yeah, he's shoving his dick in a deli slicer. That's yeah. that, that. Well, that that Trainish. like I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You know what I mean? It doesn't bother me. Whatever, do whatever you want to do. But like to me, it's like. This is just the new ear piercing. This is the new face tattoo. This is yeah. the new, yeah. like, dude, uh, you know what I mean? Butterfly lower back, you know? You can Bro, laser those off. Speaking of. You can't laser a dick back on, dude. Before I forget, I saw a lady. I was working at a, a, a furniture store. Yeah. And I had to help a lady move a, 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 a fucking mattress into her truck. Mm-hmm. And this is in the middle of the, this is in the middle of the Midwest in a town of, like, 10,000, mm-hmm. 15,000 people. And I'm helping her move the mattress in, and she, like, bends over to help get the thing in, and her shirt comes up, and I see in bold black letters, like, the letters were, like, this thick. It just says, obedient, across her lower back Whoa. in black letters. Old lady? No, like, you know, like, middle, you know, normal, middle normal 30. Obedient. Obedient. Each letter, like... In bold, I each, each letter is probably as big as this notebook. Oh, my God. God. Obedient across like oh that. Oh my god. Across the back. Yeah. I was gonna forget that if I didn't. My say wife it. didn't start getting tattoos until we were together. And I oh, clear that's... all of them. Oh yeah? I clear them all. Cause I'm she's the same thing for me. Yeah. I can't get I can't get fucking my logo tatted on my forehead. Could you imagine that on my forehead? Hold on, it's it would not be pretty funny. Chinky sweat and metal font in my forehead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would blow up immediately. Yeah. Now we'd probably be good at TikTok. Might now. be good for you, yeah. Yeah, if I just You should get you should get Pit Viper. <laughs> like <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> would that I'd go kinda hard, wouldn't Pit it? Pit Viper the, on the eyebrows. The viper right here. And then the two blades coming down. Like yeah. the two because you see how there's like sharp yeah, points like, on each sh- end. Yeah. Yeah, they would have to. Uh, they'd have to sponsor me for life if I did that. Yeah, I, I would need checks. I would need a twenty thousand dollar check yeah. in the mail every month. Slit viper. Slit viper. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah for a copyright, <laughs> I, I told the guy. I told shout out Matt Wise underscore y y y s underscore on Instagram. I told him make sure it says slit viper. Oh, is that slits. what that says? 
It says slip viper right oh, there. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. I didn't even see that. I, I was just say, being racist. Oh, that's funny because that's exactly what <laughs> I wrote. I thought sick. you read slip viper no. on the shirt. No, it says slip viper on the logo for. Did you censor it? He kind of did, yeah. Well, just in case, yeah. Yeah, He's yeah. Like, you can see the eyebrow showing through the, the uh, long S tail, the tail on the S. I yeah, can't see it. Yeah. Slip viper, yeah. yeah slip viper. Covering my slits. Yeah, dude. I love Asians, bro. Asian people are dope. They're, Asian, my, they're some of my favorite, dude. Asian people are good. I like Irish people. I like, uh, yeah, Irish is good. Every Irish person I've met is pretty decent. Yeah. Um, I didn't really know, dude, until I moved to Austin, I didn't really think I was genetically Irish. You see a lot of Europeans here. Yeah. I like Australians a lot, too. Australians are good. It's like a 60-40 with me, but I always meet yeah. the 60 that I like. Yeah. They're usually good. Or they're, like, complete degenerates. Mm-hmm. Or they're cool. Or, yeah, they're, it's, like, alcoholic or... Way too fucking rowdy. So rowdy. It's like the Jersey Shore with an Australian accent. Yeah. 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 Oi! Hi! <laughs> yeah. No! Yeah. Aye! No! Australian dudes are like, yeah, they're just the rowdiest. Rowdy. The boys. Yeah, I have fans in Australia. Yeah? Hell yeah, I have a lot of fans in Australia. I have like three or four dudes that I talk to consistently in Australia. Cool. I sold shirts there. And Mighty shit like call mods. Yeah, Mighty Car Mods. <laughs> Mighty Car Shout Mods. Shout out Mighty Car Mods. Shout Holy out Mighty fuck. Car Mods. Dude. Holy fuck, dude. Mighty Car Mods. Fucking Subaru, mate. <laughs> yeah. Every every day I get home. Putting the wheels on a Subaru. Fucking, this is how fuck. you put a beast cage in a... Yeah. Whatever the fuck those little weird oh, cars so This were. is Larry, and we're putting coilovers on his yeet today. And it's yeah. fucking slamming on its nuts. Yeah. yeah. I, lo- I love that video of the old Australian guy freaking out in, in a road rage incident. No. Have you seen that? No. If you can find that, bro, I don't know. If you Google like old old Australian man road rage, you ever seen the video of the British dude trying to get his car to turn over, Mm-mm. and his kids in the driver's seat? No. He's like hooking up the battery, and the kid that's keeps it. turning on the ignition and electric electrocutes him. Yeah, that's it. Oh uh, yeah. And good. everyone, everyone's like, "Wow, what an asshole!" And I'm on the Australian guy's side. I love this guy. You, f- hey, big boy. You got something to say? Hey, yeah, big boy. Yeah, Watch this go guy. Hey, big boy. Yeah, it's all filming, eh? Yeah. You f***ing start running into me. Yeah, you start filming. You were getting You were f***ing on. You f***ing yeah, none of my face in my yeah. car. You. Get out the car and throw some punches. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> Come on, cunts. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on. And I'm not f***ing out of here. All right. Knock the living f***ing Christ out of here. Yeah. Yeah, fat <laughs> the burger flipped flipped his tits. Flipped his tits, dude. Like, yeah. dude, dude, I, I, nah, dude. I, I love this guy. Dude. And everyone's in the comments like, what an asshole. It's like, no, no. this guy's the correct. Because he probably did get Honest, cut off in traffic. Honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, brother. If I was get that, the- I'm going to tell you right now, brother. If that was me in the driver's seat and he flipped my titty, dude, that door's coming out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that's when it was on. Yeah. The moment you burger flip my titty, dude, I'm fucking shooting it straight right through the fucking yeah, yeah. window, dude. Yeah. I'm going to roll the fucking window up and drive you down the street with me, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God! I didn't tell you this. I'll tell you this story since we're trading uh, road rage. We're talking about road rage. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! I, I got, love road I got, rage, dude. I, I got, fucking take joy in road I, rage. Dude. I got followed ten blocks. I got followed ten blocks down when? first. When? Like two months ago. No, no, like a year ago almost. What no, car? Was, was what like, what car was, was like following? Six months ago. What right. kind of car was it? It was an Ultima. It was a F one, a Rhino lined F one fifty. This guy said that That's I was not a good I going, follow. I was going 45 miles an hour in first. It's 30 or 35. This guy was like, you're going 70 miles an hour. Slow the fuck down. And I'm just like, my window's down, sunglasses on. A guy get... mad about you speeding? Yeah. That's weird. This guy follows me, right? And then uh, he follows me, and then he gets in front, and he won't let me pass. He won't get me pa- He won't let me pass. He keeps brake checking me. He keeps brake checking me. Won't let me pass. Won't let me pass. We get to fucking, we get to first in Old Torf. The hood. Yeah. No, first in Old Torf. Oh, first in Old Torf. The Taqueria. <laughs> I hear Old Torf and I go Nazi zombies. That's what I, <laughs> <laughs> I literally go no, this fucking Ikino Dertoten. This, guy, der Toten, this guy was a Nazi zombie, dude. He, fo- I f- he followed me for like 10 the blocks. The zombie or the Nazi? Uh, both. Okay. Uh, you'll find out why shortly. And we're doing this for like 10 blocks. He's fucking brake checking me. won't let me pass. Starts 10 blocks is crazy. Trying to 10 go this. blocks, that's... Dude, it was like 0.4 miles. That's it- like seven minutes of you just... Yeah, dealing with this. You carry? No, but bro, I'm about to. Bro. Castle Law, Texas Castle on, Law, bro. dude. Come yeah, this it's time, way. Yeah, it's time to buy a gun. Come over this way, bro. We I'll get to first in Old Torf. He's in front of me, dude. He hops out of his car. Willie Nelson. 
headband, 70 years old, Vietnam War veteran hat, mm. one arm. He doesn't like how you look. Exactly. One arm. Yeah. One arm. 70-year-old man, one arm, yeah. walking towards my car, yeah, yeah, ready yeah, to yeah. fight. Yeah. And I look out the window, dude, and I go, how can I help you, sir? I hit him yeah. with that one. How can I help you? Yeah. How can I help you? And he's like, you need to slow the fuck down. I was like, how about you get the fuck back in your truck yeah. and we just move the fuck on? Yeah. You won, dude. I didn't, I wasn't speeding. You're fucking crazy. I'm going yeah. 40. Yeah. I'm going 40 in the 35. Go fuck yourself. Go. Dude gets back in his truck, puts it in reverse, starts doing this and braking. Like going he's gonna forward hit you? and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward. And oh, he's just a crazy person. Yeah, he's just a yeah, crazy yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, his tailgate's all bashed in. He was trying to do insurance fraud with me. Oh. He sees a young guy, nice truck. He goes, oh, cool, a mark. Asian. Asian. Yeah. Racially charged, v- perhaps. Vietnam vet. Vietnam War vet hats. You know, what, you know what I would have done if I were you? I told he, gets, him to... he gets out of the car and he's walking towards me. I I'm, got I'm, out. I'm you, mm-hmm. right? Here's me. I get out of the car. What I shouldn't do wa gua. You don't do You don't do You don't do You You don't do wa You do You don't do You don't do You do You You I get out. He sees that I'm physically larger than him. Imagine you with one arm. Yeah. And Which, by the way, old. makes me upset, by the way, that you're Asian and bigger than me every day. <laughs> every, every day it makes me mad. You're Asian, you're bigger than me, Hold and on. you're fucking a white woman. My ancestors are like, bro. Furious. Yeah. They're like, or they're like, what the fuck's going on, lad? What the you hell are you? A, ch- a white girl in a Chinaman? That <laughs> 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 yeah. disgusting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna have to come to terms though. They're yeah. gonna have to do this. I think they're doing yeah. this up there. Yeah, now. they're doing this up there. It's terracotta soldiers and Scottish dudes just yeah. fucking going yeah. like this. Kilts and I guess you're all right with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kilts and sandals, bro. Kilts and sandals. Like this. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever had haggis? <laughs> have you ever had the bulgogi? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever bro. had? Have you ever had balut? <laughs> they give him a fucking fermented bro. egg. Yeah, Ferment- I'm telling, dude. White people, Asian people, natural allies. Na- <laughs> <laughs> that Jesus, got crazy. Jesus hey, Christ, dude. that got crazy. Yeah, good just, thing we're right, an hour. But I'm just thinking of the riots. Good back thing we're in an the hour day. forty. In. Yeah, true. <laughs> if you're this deep with us, <laughs> yeah, it's like you better be ready for this. Yeah, shit. we usually keep this shit towards past an hour. This yeah. might need to be a regular pod. Yeah. This yeah. might need to be a regular episode. I was gonna. Ask, yeah. I was gonna I ask. I was gonna ask you if you'd want to be a. All right, this was a test. I didn't want to tell you. I didn't tell Taylor. But um, this is me uh, getting down on one knee. Would you like to co-host sometimes? Here. All right, I cool. love this place. Yeah, I was this wondering. Is sick, dude. I think yeah, because it's gonna be like our ancestors just did the same thing. Dude. Yeah, just no. It, it's probably gonna. <laughs> it's probably gonna be like an eighty twenty thing. I just kind of need you in the room to hang out. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Now this Guys, place is dope. Welcome, Nick V, the new uh, co-host of Radio Ridley Radio. He's a man with no home. Why the fuck would you be gay? <laughs> <laughs> just the the Scottish. The homophobic Scottish dude, I was like, yeah, this kid gets it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Just want to check mark. What, I, what am I going to do? Fucking tell you that I was thinking about doing this when I went and picked you up. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, God, I better fucking. Oh, I better. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. dude. No. Yeah, hey, you, you know you what? I'm glad, I'm glad you're uh, cognizant of that type of shit. Yeah. That's, well, a, yeah. Good, that's a good Yeah, vibe. what the fuck? I'm good not a dumbass. Shit. Yeah. I don't want you to be fucking putting on too hard. I want to see, you know what I mean? If this is your one time on the show, see how well you do. And then I'm like, all right. Yeah. Guys, Nick V is my new co-host. He's ooh, a man ooh, without ooh, a home. I have a home now. You've been a, you've been a co-host of many <laughs> a podcasts that weren't... <laughs> Wasn't like your preferred. Yeah, name. Uh, I've been on a couple ships that sank, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that. But I swim to shore, dude. I fucking remain. Don't dude. worry, buddy. This boat comes. This ship comes with yeah. lifeboats. Welcome yeah. to the SSR three, bud. Oh, Welcome aboard. Ridley, Welcome aboard to the SSR three, guys. Thank you so much for listening to Radio Ridley Radio, uh, guys. Uh, congratulate Nick V uh, on his uh, new addition to the R three family. That's good, We're going to have dude. a lot of fun here. I'm Just grateful to have you. Yeah, you're good, man. We'll get your car fixed so that I don't have to pick you up every time. Soon. Go it's ahead a, and cheap, uh, give Nick a, 
go go ahead and give Nick a follow on Instagram. It's Nick Be Good N I C K B E G O O D. And again, you can catch us both every Sunday at uh, Creek in the Cave, 10 p.m. doing Banana Phone. Yeah, dude. Uh, make come sure you, every Sunday, bro. Yeah, please come every Sunday. It's sanctioned bullying, and I think that's why so many people love it because it just remind. It's like being in the back of the bus. Yeah. As an adult. Yeah. In real life. Uh, yeah. Go ahead if you if you guys want to add anything. To the show, if you want to help contribute to the show, shoot us an email at radio ridley radio at gmail.com. Um, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Please tell all your friends about this. I think we're going to get a lot more engagement with the uh, stuff that we're going to be coming out with here soon. Um, uh, anyone listening in Portland, we'll, we will be in Portland July 24th. 27th. To, uh, July 27th. Oh, Sorry gosh. about that. We're going to be in there. I'm going to be opening for Taylor's band. Come see us. Come hang. Uh that's it. You got anything you want to say, Nick? Uh, come to Banana Phone, bro. That's it. I oh, mean, really. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. 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 Follow Banana me on Instagram, I guess. Go to Banana Phone. Go to yeah. Banana Phone. Go to uh, Good Evening News is a good show. I'm not yeah. going to plug it. Follow me on Instagram, dude. That's yeah. about it. Go ahead. Yeah. Follow Nick Be Good. Yes. On Instagram. Yes. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are excited for the future. I know I am. Bye bye. I love yeah. you. I love you. Bye bye.